go. Hello again, everybody. You're listening to the Total Basis Podcast. I'm your host, Felipe Melicio, and with me is a a, a, a a plethora of people here. I got Corey Richmond of the, uh, what's your podcast called again? Oh, there's 47, but we'll, we'll, we'll go with the new one, the Sports Witness Podcast. And uh, Kevin no. Heller also, uh, he's been involved in uh, many, many podcasts. Welcome aboard, Kevin. Hey, man, glad to, glad to be here. I need to get logged into the league real quick before I get auto-drafted. Probably a great idea. Mr. Ricky, Velasquez. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Ricky Velasquez is the mayor of Southside Town, uh, White Sox, uh, New Comiskey Park. I forget the guarantee rate field. How are you doing this evening? <laughs> I'm doing great. Doing great. Got and, five seconds here. <laughs> uh, two, one. Mr. <laughs> Nyland, how are you doing this I'm evening? Good. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Fantastic. And Mr. Baseball Cosmos is up. You are, uh, Corey is sharing his screen. And uh, Melvin, you know, big Cus fan, big Puerto Rican uh, fan as well. So I'm going to say he's going to pick Edwin Diaz. Hendricks, Hendricks. He's going Hendricks. Kyle Hendricks, right? I know he was just uh, 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 jumping him up a little bit, uh, amping him up. No, he's going to go with Captain America, the new Captain America, Trey Turner. So he's trying wow, to copy him last year. Wow, Corey Lytle did not go first overall. I am shocked. Uh, I thought it was Shawan Dunstan. Damn, man, too soon. <laughs> Ron Say. Oh, say what? The penguin? Yeah, I'm having a little trouble here uh, with my technology, but I'll pick ah, He's here. Point. But he's here. Melvin Lopez, Baseball Cosmos in the house. How are you doing? Besides the technological difficulties. Having a little bit of technological issues, but I'll, I'll be in in a minute, all right? All right. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, Austin. I know I you like my pick. That had oh. to have been the first available on your sheets, by the way. Uh, number five <laughs> oh. in my book, but nice try. Uh, yeah. Austin forgot to set himself up an auto draft, but you know, what? I don't think you can, right? It, it does it, you know, so we're going to have to wait, wait it out. We but if you set a queue up, was it, would any do that as well? No, is I it, guess not. Is it, no, if it's like football, it's going to be the first two rounds of countdown and after that I'll hit auto draft. Well, hopefully it's sooner than that, but you know, we, we have, <laughs> we have some time to spare here. Uh, Trey Turner going number one overall in this league. So that's a bold, that's actually a good move there. But I know that Melvin's <laughs> trying to be like me. Sometimes he dreams that he is me. Uh, well, Austin went. I don't, don't want to bankrupt a basketball team. So, no, I don't want to be like Mike. He didn't bankrupt. He's about to make billions of dollars, man. What are you talking about? That's what everybody keeps telling me. Morally bankrupt. Oh, God. Number two pick overall, Aaron Damn. Judge. Uh, Woo. Smart pick, right, guys? Yowza. Oh, man. Anything, anything after last year is going to be a uh, foot boy. And no hesitation whatsoever from uh, Corey Decker. He gets Ronald Acuna. So far, uh, nothing too surprising. Uh, two of my players from last year went number one and number two, so I'm kind of sad about that. But it's okay. New beginnings, right, gentlemen? Right? Bob getting uh, Shohei Otani. So I got to look for him at in the hitters and the pitcher's spot. So Otani, you guys surprised about that? Not really. Little... I would think that if this was – you can have both a hitter and a pitcher separate. I think Otani might go slightly lower, but with the dual option, I think that's about where I thought he would have gone. Who else was yeah, uh, chiming times. in there? I'm sorry. Who else was chiming in? Yeah, I'm a little surprised mainly because I'm just too confused on how you properly use Otani in fantasy sports. But <laughs> uh, liberally, apparently. Yeah. Very liberally. Well, you, I, I had him last year, and it's just one of those things where you could. You know, with this week being set for the week, you'd either have to choose whether he's going to be a pitcher or DH. I would look at matchups and say he's going to be a DH this week or if he's going to go twice in a week and pitching would seldom happen, then I would put him in a, as a pitcher slot. So um, it was one of those things when I first drafted him, I didn't realize those, those rules. But so therefore, I would have stood away from him this year. But mm. um, good luck. Is he one <laughs> roster spot or two? He's one, but, you know, you have to choose between DH or starting pitcher. Or pitcher. So it's, like, so it's like a switch pitcher. You have to declare which hand you're you're throwing with it. That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh do declare that he went number four overall to Bob. Uh Bob is a White Sox fan as well. We have too many White Sox fans. So in my other league, we have too many Mets fans. In this league, we have too many White Sox fans. Although I am referred to as the fake White Sox fan. So two and a half, two and a half White Sox fans in this league. Oh. Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez yeah. going number five. I think that's a good pick, but I think that. Third base is a little deeper than people maybe think. And I think you could have yeah. maybe uh, gone another direction there, but well, that's the beauty of the order. Yeah. yeah. And uh, go ahead. Who's talking over there? 
No, I'm just saying, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at, um, uh, just kind of like looking at that now that I'm up as well, taking a look at uh, kind of like what I want here. So you guys talk and let me decide here. Um... <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Go ahead, bud. Go ahead. Uh, team Clemente, that's Ricky's team. He's up. Uh, I mean, I know who, who Ricky should pick. Edwin Diaz. Uh, yeah, I'm leading that way. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna keep him next year in his in his uh, in this in this league, even though it's not a keeper league. I mean, that's the next step for this league. Make it a keeper league, you know. Oh, uh, well, we'll talk, we'll talk. But I'm already in two keeper leagues, and uh, and it looks like he just made his pick. See, all that talking about Juan Soto if I bit you in the ass. Hey, uh, I, Corey. I think do the do the league that we are in, and that we we have three outfield spots. It's right, center, and left. <sighs> I don't think he's the best player on the board right now, but because of position scarcity, I'm going with Alvarez, the best left fielder, and I think there is a drop Ooh. after that. I almost went Alvarez as well, but just the strikeouts just kind of scared me a little bit. No, I, I, totally, I totally get that, but like I said, if if this was just a three outfield league, there are other outfielders I would have gone before. But, you know, a lot of the other outfielders are right and center eligible and not left. So, All right. Well, let's see. Jordan Alvarez just went. Mookie Best just went. Uh, big shout out to James Pinos and Jacob Moses for, for being in the chat. They're already booing us. And Pinos is asking if we can hear the trumpets. I can hear the trumpets. It's I can taps, hear the, right? Uh, for you guys, maybe. I'm the defending champ, goddammit. Well, I was more meaning for Diaz, but. Oh, so, right. Just because I'm just wondering, uh, who is Team Molester? Um, uh, that's Angel Morales, who just made the pick to Vladdy Guerrero. Vladdy. I, uh, and you guys, so this is not how the script was supposed to go. You guys took all my players that I really, really wanted. So now I got to, like, get cute over here. Now, listen, just, want... for anybody who listened to last year's version of this podcast, Felipe said the same exact thing basically every round. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys not, did. Juan Soto not, was going, like, remember, right, Turner getting... dropped to him, and he's like, thank you for handing me the championship. You guys did. You guys did. Thank you for that. All right. I'm going to get cute here. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get J-Rod. I'm going to get J-Rod. I, I can see that being a good move. Oh, it's a great move. It, yeah, it he's, might, going, he's going 30-30. It might bite me in the ass because he did struggle mightily last year. I know I had him in my, my keeper league, and I decided to just trade him away. Um, but I kind of do regret a little bit doing that. So it's kind of a nice redemption story for me to get him back in this league. And who just went? Uh, Carlos Borges, or Borges, sorry. Just pick Kyle Tucker. Who I was I was thinking about it, but I'm like, nah, I, I'm, I like the idea of having Julio Rodriguez on my team. So we'll see. I don't feel as good as I did last year when I had um, Trey Turner, but we shall see. Uh, we shall see. Anyway, who's next? We're closing up the first round. Back-to-back picks here. Oh, Freddie Freeman. Yeah, I was thinking about him, Freddie Freeman. But I'm like, nah, first baseman. I don't know. I don't know. I, maybe you guys feel differently. But first baseman, I feel like you can get a first baseman later in the draft. But uh, is, is Austin crying that he can't get uh, Mike Trout? Uh, watch him strike out in big moments. Oh, Ooh. Lord. Oh, Lord. That slider was untouchable. <laughs> Trout? So the Angels making the playoffs. He couldn't have hit that with a tennis racket. No, I mean Otani wasn't a mission mission from God. Carlos is up next, so uh, nice nice set of picks there, uh, Kevin Miller. So, so how many games does Mike Trout actually play in this year? Let's go with one thirty five. Hey, if he plays one thirty five, then that's a solid yeah. pick. That's a great pick. <laughs> so Felipe, who did you Sir. want that just got taken, and you could have it's because you're so upset with us. Juan Soto. I was hoping to get Juan Soto. I've been getting Juan Soto every in every uh, in every league, in every uh, mock draft I've been involved in. So I'm kind of disappointed that he couldn't make it back to me. Hey yo, you up, Chico? Yeah, I just pick uh, Rafael Devers at third base because I I actually don't think that third base is that strong this year. So, so I was gonna I was hoping to pair up uh, Juan Soto and Rafael Devers together so I could uh, emulate my baseball life here, but oh well. That's not going to happen. So Angel is up next. So that's the other thing about this league. We have too many Puerto Ricans between Angel, Carlos, and, <laughs> and Ricky. That's so right. All, you guys are going to be fighting uh, for all the Puerto Ricans to be on your teams and stuff, right? Hey, what about me? 
What about you? That's right. Let's not forget <laughs> Corey. You know, he was a Cuban <laughs> last year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you and I. Never mind. <laughs> All right, so we're still waiting on Angel. He has 40 seconds or so. It's that all was a nice day. That's funny. You said, you said, <laughs> you won, a... never mind. And I was like, never. you won, Nick, Cast- yeah. Nick Castellanos, who also happens yeah. to be Cuban. Oh, funny. Oh, oh. oh, I forgot about that guy. I forgot all the about first that guy. Of the year. Shout out to Larry. Rest in peace. Uh, <laughs> it's all out of love, you guys, says Jacob Moses. Appreciate the love, Mr. Moses. Really do. All right. Did he pick Corbin Burns? All right. Okay. Hey, guys, you all have got to check out the Negro League, uh, the Negro League uh, option and MLB The Show 23. It's like a story mode, kind of like in the NBA uh, 2K used to do. It's pretty good. Okay. Y'all check it out. So just like a famous college dropout watched 21 Jump Street and his, apparently his opinion on certain people have changed, you know, the best player available is a whitey. So I'm going to go and take Garrett Cole. Oh, wow. All right. Two pitchers back to back. <laughs> yeah, it's about right. It's about right. A lot of racial consternation in this conversation. Oh, just damn me. It's, it's going to uh, be still coming. Jets on the chat. He's saying Vlad Jr. got done hey. dirty on the show 2023. They gave him an overall 74 power rating. Ooh, I did not realize mm, that. Mm, 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 mm. So if, that's what happens when your OPS goes from a thousand to eight hundred. I mean, in a year, they, it'll it'll that they go by trends. I think sure. Sean explained that how they do the the power the ratings mm. on uh, on uh, MLB the show. Interesting. Well, I, I don't play. Clean. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ricky. Man, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. I no, I was just saying I, I really hate to do this. So uh, I don't really like to pick too many players from from the same team, but. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm going to have to go with the with the Machado factor here. Yeah. I like that. It had to be done. I, I like it. I like that we pick. Have, we have five white players in a row. Oh, no, wait, no. Manny went. All right, we kept uh, the ha- the happy tone. No. Uh, I'll, I'll be nice if it offends. I'm just having fun. Um, Manny Machado and Bo Bichette go back to back. Uh, auto draft, not picking pitchers so far. So that must mean that he did some of his homework this year, right? The auto draft, yeah. Oh, yeah. got smarter this year. That's good. That's got good. tired of getting yelled at. <laughs> uh, Bob is ready to roll here. He has about 50 seconds left to make his pick. I'll say this about Vladdy. We we're talking about, you know, his power rating. I'm not saying it's happening with him. He's still pretty young. But a lot of times with some of the heavier set power hitters, their power can just kind of fluctuate. Uh, I remember Prince Fielder. Uh, went from, you know, really big power threat to then he hit 16 home runs and then he hit 30 something and then he went back down again. And, uh, you know, Billy Butler was a guy whose power would go up and down, up and down. So I wonder if I wonder if maybe they they think he's on the the downward trend. So any big surprise in these first first 20 picks? I mean, I think it's pretty standard. I mean, is there anybody who you shot that pick to? Well, really Julio quick. Rodriguez. Ah, this guy. He just had to get in there. <laughs> uh, Lindor is my 31st best uh, hitter right now, and he's the lowest ranked player that has gone so far, but he is a shortstop at the same time. And I just want to mm-hmm. give a shout out to Jet, who, who on the uh, Negro League uh, uh, feature you guys were talking about for the show. I'm working on the Satchel story, dude, or Satchel page, I should say. Dude struck out the side while the outfielder sat around the mound. So uh, I didn't realize that you could do that you know, on the show. So I feel like I'm missing a lot. Go ahead. Oh, that's someone was talking. All right, really quick. Uh, Paul Goldsmith, Max Scherzer went. Paul Goldsmith went. Sandy Alcantara and Austin Riley went. So dang it. Dang it. Austin Riley just feels like Austin Riley's. I mean, I know he's really good. And Kevin, uh, Kevin, you know, can expound. But I just feel like. He feels like more of like a, a third, fourth round pick than a second round pick. I mean, I might be totally off base. I, I guess I think he's got great potential, but I feel like it's a year away from him like being a, a two round, you know, top two round pick. I don't know, yeah. man. Go 30 and 100 back to back years. It's not too yeah. bad. He, he's coming up quick, but I got him in double digit rounds last year. So it was a, a you know, it was a great value for me last yeah, year. Yeah, that's a value. <laughs> yeah. 
And we got Tatis. Corbin Carroll, Justin Verlander, and Fernando Tatis just went very quickly. And Aaron Nola and Pete Alonso. So the picks are going hot and heavy as I try to update mm. my spreadsheet on this other side of the screen. And, yeah, I think I mentioned Fernando mm. Tatis going. What do you guys think about Fernando Tatis? Uh, let's start with uh, uh, Ricky. You ready to go talk about Fernando Tatis for a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds, I should say? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, you know, that was the best trade that White Sox ever made. Um <laughs> <laughs> James you know, Shields, baby. This, this this guy's a China doll, and then you know he tries to you know get the PEDs in them to, to, to try to stay, um, and, and gets caught. So now he's he's kind of in a world of hurt. I really hope that he has a bounce back here. I know he still has some time left on his suspension and things of that nature. But um, you know you want to see these guys succeed. But at the same time, I I do really want to see him fail. You know because I just I'm tired of hearing the draft. Uh, I mean the. Uh, the trade between the stocks and, and Tatis. <laughs> and I, I am so sorry. I didn't realize that it was your turn to pick, but you're going no, with Brandon. Okay. I can multitask. I can multitask. All right. Some people can. That's why I'm, I was, I'm apologizing, but you're going with Brandon, Brandon Woodruff here, huh? Yeah. Um, so it was going to be a pitcher. Um, I did have other options at what I wanted for pitcher, but um, yeah, why not? Why not go with somebody that, that, you know, that's been, a, you know, staple at, at what he does I, I think he's a, a pretty good guy he's going to give some innings and, and get some strikeouts and we'll just see we'll try to build off of that with my pitching staff Angel Morales on the chat asking Kel, Corbin Carroll really wow and uh, Corbin Carroll going to the Arizona team uh, that'd be Corey Decker's team so I'm, I don't want to say it it's the first time I'm saying it though that's a big homer pick right there homer <laughs> no. he know he knows did, did he did he hurt himself reaching that that far or uh? Or far? Tech. <laughs> did he, did he say he's bigger on McCarthy? Um, I like Jake. Oh, well, 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 I'm not gonna mention players. He says, that haven't been he says uh, National League Rookie of the Year. Corey says, "Well, all you right, could have still yeah. got him in the eighth round or something." Well, we'll never know now. Now, <laughs> but that's the dangers of having the Homer pick in you, man. You just. Can't I, I, anyway. I'm not gonna preach about that in this show. We're about, we're about having fun tonight, you guys. And then I guess we're having fun at Corey's expense, but still, we're about having fun. Who's up next? Angel is back up. Let's see who he picks. Um, let's see. Can I do this by teams? I think I can. What's his team's name again? The Molest, uh, Nestor the Molester. Do you, Nestor think Alex, do you think uh, that was a little too early on Alex Bergman, or do you think that's about where he should be going? Early. I feel that was a slight reach. I mean, not a Carol size reach, but do you think that was a slight <laughs> reach there, or do you think that's the right about the right place for a Bergman? Bregman, actually. I think if you, I think if you didn't, uh, you know, limber up a little bit ahead of time, you're pulling something. <laughs> I respect that. Oh man, uh, I hate that. You know, uh, confession. You know, like Usher, right? I hate the early rounds of, of these drafts because I know ne- I feel like there's just too many good choices and and it's like it's just too many choices out there, right? If they handed but, out a spring training MVP, it would have been Matt Olson this year. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize Matt Olson got picked. I was about to pick him right now. Well, well, you know what? More. You know what, guys? This is not a good idea, but I'm gonna do I'm, it. It's time no, for me to make a homer pick. It's time for me to make a homer pick, guys. It's time for me to make a homer pick. It's time for me to make a motherfucking Viva homer Mexico. pick. It's time for me to make a homer pick. Let's go. Let's does do that. that. Count as a, does it count as gonna, a homer pick? Hell yeah, it does. I was going to predict it, but I didn't want to say it because he hadn't been drafted, but I knew what, where Felipe was going with that pick. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for not saying anything. But... <laughs> I, I I rarely get excited like this nowadays, but uh, I'm very happy with that one. Oh, I, yeah, but I didn't realize that Matt Olson got selected. I was about to get him right now. So technically, Angel just sniped me, bastard. Nolan Arenado just went, and Julio Urias just went. So what is what is Nolan Arenado's injury? What is he day to day with? Uh, I. Don't is know. Is it serious or is it uh, not too big of a deal? I think it's uh, WBC related. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Is it, isn't everything? Everything is. Even even spring training uh, yeah, injuries. But when you're, re- when you're reading his stuff, they don't even mention it. Oh, okay. Uh, Chet says that the Breckman uh, pick was too early and Angel is 
says he hates me now because I picked up uh, Randy uh, Rosa Reina. Well, you picked up Matt Olson, so big middle finger to you, buddy. What do you think, Ricky? Is it Sunrise or Rice Sand? What sounds better to you? What's that? It, what do you think his Anglo name should be? It should it be Sunrise or Rice Sand? Mm. <laughs> I think. Sonically, sand rice would sound better, but that's what I'm thinking. But it's not accurate. But I'm, I, I've been going with sand rice for a couple of years now. I think I'm going to stick with sand rice. For those who don't know, arroz means rice, arena means mm-hmm. sand. Therefore, mm-hmm. sand rice. Gavin I was just... saying arroz y harina. That's why I call them arroz y harina. Oh, you know? flour. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Interesting. They keep crucifying Melvin upside down. Every time he comes on camera, he's upside down. What's going on? You trying to go out like Peter Melvin or what? I don't know, man. I'm practicing my Spider-Man thing. Going on. Felipe, back on the clock in quick fashion. Yep. Shane Bieber just off the board. That that Shane would have been, Bieber. I'll be honest, that would have been my pick if he was there in two picks, but. Yep. Hey, Felipe, can you explain? That's going to be uh, my pick if he was in three picks. Uh, I'm sorry, one at a time. Who's asking me questions now? Sorry, I was just asking, like, is there a restriction in terms of starters versus relievers positionally? I know uh, I know you have limits on starts, but. Uh, no, the, there shouldn't be any limits on starts. I don't think there should be. I think you just have to get a minimum of innings pitched per week. Okay. So yeah. Spencer Strider or somebody like that. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't wouldn't be a problem because they have dual eligibility. Yeah, you can, I mean, you could put him as a relief mm-hmm. pitcher. You could put him as a starting pitcher. I plan to have him as my ace, though, Spencer Strider. So. Oh, he's freaking good. Yeah. That well, was I'm my next pick. Thank you, Felipe. I appreciate that. Wait, for what? That was my next pick. He was on my queue. That was who I wanted next. Fastest well, player ever to 200 strikeouts in a season. So that means he's going to get Tommy John surgery sometime in May, right? Is that what it means? He's already, he's already had it. He can always get it twice and three times, man. Come on. I don't know. Have you seen, have you seen that butt? <laughs> what the hell? All the power. All the power. Butt and thighs. Just like Beyonce. Oh, that is like God. the most southern thing I've heard all day today. Uh, Dylan C is going to Corey's uh, team. You're killing him, man. Oh, Maxus. Yeah. Who just went? Max Reed. Reed, sorry. Ah. <sighs> Clemente. Yeah, so, you got that's 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 just killer right there. That, you know, two of my pitchers just went off the board right before I picked, of course. Well, I'm not I'm not saying I'm picking them, but if a second baseman were gonna start playing center field in southern Florida, how long would it take <laughs> them to gain eligibility <laughs> at center? I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. I got a center fielder already queued up, so uh, Get ready for oh. his next homer pick. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, Luis Robert, of course, of course. Why not? And Michael Harris going right off the board. Well, auto draft, but can Michael Harris do this again next uh, this year? No. I don't trust it, but I like him a lot. I really like him a lot. I like oh, him I last lo- year. And I, love I love him, him as a player, but I, I watch that swing and I do not see repeatability. He is patient. I will give him that. He's a pretty patient hitter, at least from what I remember. Uh, he, at the very least, he can post decent walk rates and limit his strikeout rates. So that's all you can ask for. And then hopefully it translates into production. So, so we shall team, see. Uh, team Milk, uh, Milken, whatever it is. I think it's right Milken. has two Mets and a future Met in Otani. So, I mean, theoretically, <laughs> it's three pitchers. And now he took his left fielder, uh, Schwaber. You know, I, I think there is. I mean, I like Schwarber, but, uh, you know, your Alvarez to Schwarber, that's that's kind of the reason why I took uh, Schwarber, uh, Alvarez when I took when I took him, because, you know, I think there is a slight difference of left field. Well, righty then. Uh, Kyle Schwarber, like you mentioned, Xander Bogart just went and two pitchers back to back, Zach Wheeler and Alec Manoa. So well, who's up? Manoa. Melvin is up next. Melvin, what are you thinking here? Are you there? He's on mute. Never mind. I am on mute. And, there you, are. Uh, you know, I like what I'm seeing so far from this dude. So I know it's a little late and it could pay big dividends because he's coming back from injury, but I'm going to take him. I don't care. I like the dude. I knew it was going to happen. Wait, who is it? Oh, one of the 
Jacob Jacob DeGrom. Oh, wow. You got Jacob DeGrom. And Alec Manoa. Okay. You got the uh, one two punch if uh I, I think I like I like it. I think uh I'm, maybe I'm crossing my fingers because I, I really like the Grom, but we'll see. And uh, somebody tell Corey to save some of the Arizona players for us. I will I was about to say something about that, but <laughs> in this case, I, I like the Homer pick there. Not so much with the Corbin Carroll, but I do like the Zach Allen pick right here. You know, I it was between him and Manoa for me, and I went with Manoa, but uh it was between him and Galen for me. So right now, so right now, Melvin's team, he's got two great starters, Manoa and, and a little bit of a question mark with DeGrom. And he's got a pretty solid infield already. Uh, Alonzo, Riley and Turner. So uh, oh, that's pretty damn good. That's almost like 2022 Felipe's team right there. Almost. Wow. Almost. Well, hey, shot fired. as uh, as uh, as as uh, Brandy and Monica taught me, I think it was no, it was Brandy. It was Brandy. Almost doesn't count. <laughs> Bob Milliken on the clock still. He has 20, less than 20 seconds to go here. And again, thank you to everybody out there who has tuning into the chat. I know this is not the league that you guys are a part of, but I do thank you for uh, keeping us company. And uh, Corey Decker just giving, uh, letting you guys with a little bit of a warning saying, duh, this is the Arizona Outlaws. So more Arizona players to come for his team, on his team, I should say. Yeah, I'll see Albies just one. I he think did. I saw that. He did. Ooh. Albies and Mullins. Cedric Mullins. That feels. Well, that's Those an are too big. Pick. Those are. I, I, what, we don't think about Mullins. I mean, he had a big drop last year. Yeah. Uh, he won me a championship know. last year. I think. I think I would have. I would have waited a little bit on Mullins. I don't know, but he won he's me a championship last year. So I'm good. He, he's he, another one whose swing I think lacks repeatability. You know, I saw. I saw both Mullins and Michael Harris hit uh, a fair amount of opposite field home runs that seem like accidents, and <laughs> and when that when that happens, I, I don't believe the results. Who's team Corey. ankle plate? And he just went. Never mind. Oh, Dalton Varsho. So Corey Seager just went, and so did Dalton Varsho. Uh, so there's a was that the first catcher on the off the board? Maybe. Yeah. Surprisingly. I thought I thought Varsha was was going on as a left field, no? Or did they have him as he's, a catcher? He's yeah, dual. catcher, right and center. So yeah, he has, going, it's an odd combination, over. catcher and center field. That's like that's what makes him valuable this year. Emmanuel, oh, I like him. Klasse. Dale Murphy did that. <laughs> Wait, did Classe just fail? Dude, he just yeah. went right now. Yeah. Okay, then it's okay. <laughs> Angel is up next. We'll we shall see there. The hell was that? I just heard a beeping sound. Freaked me out. Yeah. Well, Nestor the molester has Guerrero Olson, so he's got two first basemen, and he's got two good uh, pitchers. He's got Burns and uh, Gossman. Uh, Jet on the chat asking how many innings per start does Degrom go uh, per start going forward? I would say five and a third. Is a nice little number to reach, right? He's not. He's at 180, probably. I don't. I do not see him pitching 185 at all. Uh, he's asking per start, though. For start. Uh per start, five, five and a, five and a, I mean, sixteen, anywhere from fifteen to twenty outs. I don't. I don't see him pitching past eighteen outs. Another like catcher that. off the board with Will Smith. Well, maybe, maybe. against the Athletics, he'll go a little longer. In yeah. Oakland, for sure. For sure. I think that's the thing that help, hurts him in the value in this league as well, because I mean, quality starts is one of those um, mm -hmm. things that you really need as well. You need the six six innings to get that that qualification. So if you if you're talking about going five five and a third, you're just going to come up short. That's going to be frustrating for that owner. Yeah. Good point. Good point. So so right now Felipe has Devers, uh, the King of Mexico. Julio Rodriguez and Strider, and he just took another good pitcher in uh, Ca uh, Castillo. Luis Castillo, yeah. to be exact. Luis Castillo, I always liked the kid. Oh, well, not a kid anymore, but I always liked him with the Reds, and he looked pretty darn good with the Mariners last year. So hopefully him and Spencer Strider – because last year I had a crap rotation, so oh, boo -hoo. hoping that uh, I change that a little bit this season. Well, we could pride on the board now. What do we <clears throat> Bieber, Urias, Tucker, Lindor. Interesting. 
Yeah, we shall see what uh, Carlos has in mind for us right now. But uh, so far, uh, you guys were talking about Ozzy Albies and Cedric Mullins. It's kind of funny that those guys went back to back as they do have the most question marks in these rounds. Uh, we've been down on Albies for a while. And Cedric Mullins, I kind I still want to believe in him. I think it's hard to uh, duplicate what he can do on the base pads. And with it being a lot easier to steal bases this season, supposedly, I think I think he will still hold value in this league. So uh, we just got a couple of picks that just went. Uh, Tristan McKenzie and JT Realmuto going Are you back to back. Realmuto, who a lot of people think is the best catcher in baseball, was the third or fourth one to go? Mm, not really. He's 32 years old. He's about to be 32 years old this season, if he's not already. And uh, it's all about production, right? It's all about value. Although I, I think it's pretty darn close between these catchers, but uh, I guess it just depends on uh, on the preference that these guys have. And sure. people might think that Real Muto's on the way down, while all these other catchers are on the way up. So, uh, so unless you're off the board, Kevin Miller went with George Springer and JT Real Muto, so he doesn't care about age. <laughs> he's like those are the veterans I'm, I'm comfortable with and i'm gonna go with them is that the is that your thought there mr miller well that and my built-in excuse for if i lose so. oh right of course well i, uh, I believe we should be uh, we should rename your team teeth team cough medicine <laughs> <laughs> can i get an official vote as he coughs as a uh <laughs> I already call him Little Kevin on the on the chat. I, I just renamed him Little Kevin because you know of the lean. <laughs> oh, he man. leans with it and rocks with it. We can stop at that part. It's, I'm just still early, man. I got I got many more to go. You think this is? I think I'm just a no, meant, trick pony. I meant with that. I meant with that song. <laughs> <laughs> the next the next lyric need not apply. Uh, Alejandro Kirk. I think is a good pick. Yeah, uh, you're seeing that the catchers are going uh, really quickly now. So uh, this is where I kind of miss my old cheat sheets where I had all the players on one page. I have, I mean, I have them in one page, but I have them. It's a weird setup this year for me. So yeah, I am uh, not not you know making up excuses, but I'm just saying. But I, I'm very. very cool. I have a few ways to go here. I haven't decided what I want to do. I have two players that I absolutely adore on the queue here. I just don't know. Actually, three if you count the, the starting pitcher I have in mind. But I did pick a starting pitcher last time. I do have a reliever I have in mind, but I feel like I can get a relief pitcher anytime. And I absolutely love this first baseman. I love him so much that I cannot let him go. So here's another leap of faith from yours truly. Another Rolling the dice with another young yeah. player. Vinny Pasquantino, I'm sure. You got uh, Vinny, him everywhere, bro, in every I league, do you? Every damn league I have Vinny Pasquantino. I love the kid. It's – it's that, so hypocrite time, hypocrite time, right? So I I, I I bash you guys for being homers and homer picks. But <laughs> I, once I get attached to certain players, I cannot let them go. So that's Christian Yelich, and now you can ask Vinny Pasquantino. So hopefully this one doesn't bite me in the ass. Hopefully it's all nothing but rocket ships up his butt this season for Kansas City. That's very gross. That sounds uncomfortable. <laughs> you know what? When the was... team molester is picking, I think that's allowable. Well, I mean, I don't know why you guys, you guys all saw Jackass the movies and stuff, so you guys should be used to it by now. No? Okay. All right. The, scor the scorpions in the mouth was, that was too much. <laughs> too I much. think the third one was too much. Like, no, really, that, that yeah. stop, guys, enough. <laughs> it's over. Stop it already. Uh, who's so Angel just picked Frambro Valdez? So he's uh, he learned his lesson from Felipe last year. That Frambro Valdez is a pretty damn good pitcher, huh, guys? Oh, Valdez, you forgot about him, huh? No, I was just hoping he was gonna make it one more. Nope, right, he wasn't so, gonna make it, but I so just keep based, getting robbed. <laughs> so, so, based on rankings, I am taking a huge leap of faith here. Huge, I'm gonna go with my, my boy Kevin. Millar. <laughs> okay, chisel all over your guys' faces. Boom! <coughs> That's worse than the rocket ship. That's a very marketable pick over there, Richmond. Good job. Hey, you, you were talking about playing a game. I think he's on the cover, right? Yes, sir. Well, so we, very, we, that's why I said how, that's yeah. a very marketable pick. So. Exactly. We asked how many innings Degrom would pitch. How many games is Jazz Chisholm going to play? 
125. He does. That's a good pick. If. if. Oh, Adolis Garcia. God, I hate that guy. Second pick, second, second true closer off the board with uh, Devin Williams. I was going to, I was thinking of picking him. And when I said I had a relief pitcher in mind, that was him, Devin Williams. And I decided to go with Vinny P. So change it. So is Garcia hopefully. that good, or is it just because he's an auto pick and he's just whatever number available here? I mean, I think it's both at this point. But the the I get the allure for uh, Adolis Garcia. I just everything else about him, like the high strikeout rates, the low batting average. I believe he has a low batting average. I forget. I just know that the people love him because of the home runs and the stolen bases. But yeah, uh, when you strike out thirty percent of the time, it's that could fall off at any time. I rather have Vinny P. I'm sorry. I will live and die with Vinny P than having Adolis Garcia on my team. So some more players who, go off the board. Tay Oscar Hernandez, Jeff McNeil, and Brian Reynolds. Um, who who, haven't who is it from? in baseball life that hates Brian Reynolds so much? Who is that? Me? I don't know. I'm just joking. No, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Will he finally get traded this year? Oh, I I th- actually, I think it's Henry. I think Henry hates Brian Reynolds. <laughs> no, he wants him and he can't get him. So that that's why he hates him. Yeah, I think Henry wants it at a discount. Like, like uh, he wants him at the Yankees. That's what he wants. He wants him like, like he's going to Aldi's and stuff. Like, no, but man. he wa- he wants to get him for for nothing but uh, but Torres or something, right? See, oh, Melvin, man. we knew you were a true South Sider, buddy. Thanks, Cubs. Hey, my dude, that this dude killed the WBC. I like how he was looking out there, man. Hey. He could just stay healthy, but he was, he was looking good. Eloy Jimenez was looking pretty good. Yeah. All right, who haven't I heard from? Uh, Matthew Nyland. I oh, want to hear still from up. you. No, I, well, hold on. I want to hear from Matthew really quick. Uh, uh, my bad. Uh, I, I, was, I was thinking Joe. outside. My bad. My bad. I was thinking. I was thinking out loud. My bad. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Uh, well, Matt, I, I want to hear from you. Who, who was your favorite pick in the last five picks so far? I. Um, but... Jeremy Pena. Go ahead. Well, someone took in the last five picks, man. I don't know. Um, I've been staring at my own picks. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't want to leave you out, man. So, I'm so sorry. If I nah, go I'm back good. To... I'll be laughing at you. I'll be telling jokes. I'll be laughing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay being ancillary. <laughs> what's, your, oh, what's your team name? Silent. What's, what's your team name? Gray's ankle plate. That is you. Your ankle plate. Okay. Brandon Nemo just went to Arizona. Um, is he on auto draft or what? Oh no, no that's no. Uh, Corey Outlaws. And I am so sorry. Um, Brandon Nemo may have an aunt that lives in Flagstaff, Arizona, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, when we were in Arizona together, when I met up with him, I think he was. We were making fun of Flagstaff, Arizona, for a good five or ten minutes. So. Uh, Brandon Nimmo, uh, he's the guy who got injured in spring training, right? After the day or, or two after Edwin Diaz got hurt. Yeah, got uh, his yeah. spike stuck in the ground. I, on the I slide. think they're not concerned about that. I think I think he's going to be back. Yeah, okay. I think he's more day to day than. Uh... Yeah, I thought it was uh, for some reason. I thought it was more serious, but no, I uh, quickly remember that it wasn't that serious. All righty then. So Carlos Rodon, Max Muncy going back to back. Ricky is now up. Yeah. <laughs> well, you take right. your, you take your time over there, Corey. Uh, Max Muncy or Carlos Rodon? Who was a better pick? Ouch! Um, Ouch! Rodon. He might. He, if he actually does play, he actually may be good. After last uh, year, today, uh, he, today it's Muncy because you know Muncy's playing. Well, true. It's not. <laughs> I I, I want to see if Muncy's not shot from last year. I don't know. Did he did he end up breaking two hundred last year? I don't think so. Uh, Angel on the chat. Well, that's banking your savings on Rodon. All right, so he's uh, really whoa. Ketel, Ketel Marte just went, and Nylon goes with Jose Abreu. Interesting. I like the Abreu pick more than the Ketel Marte pick. If I'm being honest. Because that's the only way I know how to be. Ricky, I'm surprised you didn't go with Jose Abreu, man. Why didn't you go with Jose Abreu? Um, you know, Jose Abreu is a great guy. Um, you know, he's going to be – I think he's probably going to be batting like seventh. 
<laughs> in Houston. Um, gotcha. I don't know if he's going to have the the, RB, the guys in the RB, RBI machine. I just don't know if he's going to have the opportunities. Um, they're probably going to sit him down a little bit, DH. I mean, he is getting a little older. So um, I'm kind of hoping uh, I, I needed a second baseman. And um, I, I'm going to see if Mark Fink can, can, you know, can get some of that flashback. Josh Hader going to um, Richmond's team. Wait. You know, try to get rid of the, try to get the, the best save guys and then not worry about it, hopefully for the rest of the draft, unless, you know, they lose their job, you know. Uh, Angel says Ricky didn't pick him because he's still mad he left the White Sox. No, I think we were expecting him to leave, right, Ricky? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, I was surprised. They kept him along for that long, but we already knew he was going to leave. But yeah, you're damn right. I'm mad. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was leaving, but yeah, I'm right. I'm mad. I, 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 I have a grudge. Uh, no, it's it, you know, it's fine that he leaves. I mean, everyone has an opportunity to leave, and I, and I really I, look, Jose Abreu. I love Jose Abreu. I, I wish him nothing but the best. The guy's a former MVP. Um, he carried. Um, he was a he was a leader of our staff. Um, it's just one of those things that, you know, there's not going to be room. You know, you got Andrew Vaughn there waiting, you know, to take his his opportunity, and and it was his time to go. and And I wish him the best, but not too much luck in Houston. I I don't think they need much luck. They they seem like they got a a good nucleus together, won a couple championships. One of them is kind of questionable, um, and I know some <laughs> people can't let that go. But at the same time. Um, they got they, they they got a a whole lot to deal with over there in Houston. So good no, luck to Houston over here. here. <laughs> I finally got him. I finally got him. Got my man. Got my man Christian Javier. Freaking Felipe. Got to get him early and often, man. Got to reach for those guys because I'm gonna get them for you. Yeah, I was up next. Oh, and George Kirby. Are you... Those are oh. my next two cues. Man, <sighs> that's actually that actually make me sad. Now George you know Kirby. how I feel, Kevin. That's happened to me twice already. Sorry, I'm trying Two to do my own. Row, my own I'm trying to do my own uh, Jewish thing. <clears throat> also, have the draft picks, so my apologies. You the man. Ah, <sighs> so That's George. Cr- now so, just rage picking. Now let's uh, recap a little <laughs> bit. So Josh Hader going to Richmond's team. Uh, Robbie Ray going to Angels team. I went with Christian Javier. George Kirby going to uh, Carlos's team. You, Darvish, going to uh, Kevin as he looks for some sort of uh, consolation prize for all the sniping that's been going on with him. Not a fan of the you, Darvish pick, by the way, but that's just me. He's not a fan of you. Good. Good. <laughs> I, I, I've heard he's on his, uh, Felipe, he's on his mailing list. I don't know. <laughs> uh my honest opinion says angel i was about to pick javier but went with the old reliable in robbie ray hey you know what sometimes older is better with starting pitchers i always preach that on this podcast so just starting pitchers or just in line uh catchers maybe sometimes hopefully some (laughs) maybe we'll see but although i'm not going to say too much because i don't want to you know give away too much information but uh, uh, there's been an influx of young catchers, too. So there might be a change, of, an obvious change of the guard at that position. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, Jordan Romano. So, yeah, Kevin saying, I don't want to lose out on any of these closers. So I'm not going to lose out, he says. Not happy about it. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, Boricua, Carlos Borges, up on the draft board here. How's this team looking, Corey? Well, it doesn't matter. He's already he just picked. <laughs> he deserves all. Well, well, I can't as, as our fearless yeah, leader uh, takes a look around for his pick, uh, Boricua with Kirk at catcher. Jimenez at second, Lindor at short, Kyle Tucker in right, and a nice little pitching staff of Reese, Bieber, McKenzie, and Georgie Kirby. This is a tough one for me because I can go in so many directions, right? Because I can he's go so in... good at fantasy baseball. Oh, well, that too. No. Um, <laughs> I mean, I am I am last year's champion, so I must be doing something right here. I mean, everybody fell off, everybody fell off a cliff. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the excuse you guys are using. You know what? Just for that, Mr. Richmond, I'm going to stick it to you. I'm going to stick it to you nice and hard. Ooh, foreplay. 
There you go. There That's you go. Four point? There you go. Mm. I was I was gonna make a smart pick, but you pissed me off. Now no one gets any good pitchers on their teams. Hunter oh, Green. Hunter, Gr- Hunter Green. By the way, I muted a couple of you guys. I was trying to figure out who had the background noise. So you guys talk and we don't hear you. It's because I muted you. So make sure you guys are on muted before you talk again. Nestor uh, back on the clock with a very a very solid starting pitching. So. Uh, he could most likely use a. I mean, he's got some power there with with Vladdy and Olson. The last three picks, I went with Hunter Green. Carlos goes with Andres Jimenez and Jordan Romano, like we mentioned, going to uh, Kevin Miller in over there in South Carolina. Um, Nasty Nestor taking his namesake. Nestor Cortez. Ooh. Okay, now it's a real game. All right, time to reach. I'm going to hurt myself now. Hold on. Got to stretch a little bit. Oh, uh, you're going <laughs> to. You know, I'm pulling anything here. Oh, no. Ooh. All right. All right, O'Neill Cruz going to Corey Richmond's team. Okay, and, hope you uh, like forty percent K rates. Uh, he was the eighth best player on my board, though, so I'll give you some credit for that. Well, at least he was in top ten. Well, I mean, it's after all the picks were made already, so I'm, exactly. I'm refreshing as I go. Just make sure you guys <laughs> understand what I'm talking here. Oh, he Felipe had O'Neill Cruz as his eighth best player. Oh my God, he's an idiot. No, just. I like the Jose Altuve pick a lot. I, I was thinking of getting him maybe a couple of rounds ago, but I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to deal with that. But that is a really bold, shrewd move by, uh, who was it? Matthew Nyland, it looks like, right? Wow, we, we are starting to take potential now. Gunnar Henderson, 92nd overall. Oh, sorry, Nyland, were you going to say something over there? I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, okay, I thought you were going to say something about your Jose Altuve pick. Never mind. No, I was just waiting <laughs> just waiting for him, and I didn't think he's going to last any longer than that. So that's a really good pick, man. I, I, that's, I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, Gunner and Ryan Presley went before Gunner Henderson. Um, Gunner Henderson, I don't know, man. I, I, I honestly don't think that third base is as deep as you think, Corey. I don't think it is this year. So, in a lot of my mock drafts, Gunner Henderson was like the last ditch effort for me to get a good third baseman. Otherwise, I just go into an abyss, I go to the dead zone that. Gets mentioned a lot in fantasy football. I, I don't know if they mentioned that in fantasy baseball podcast, but that would be the dead zone after after Gunnar Henderson. It's all dead from there on out. So well, third I mean, base is the about, running backs of well, I mean, <laughs> fantasy eight, baseball. I mean that's about eight deep though, right? I mean that's the eighth uh, running back. I'm um, running back. Uh, third baseman <laughs> take. I mean, I think in past years you could say third base was about you know four deep, and then you're you know swimming upstream so i think there was a, a little bit more depth i think in 2020 and 2021 i could have argued that it was it was going 17 deep like there were so many good third basemen that just pick any of them you, you couldn't fail okay. but you know as, as the years have gone on you know players got older injuries started uh picking up and also um the idea that major league baseball teams are going with uh concentrating on shortstops and center fielders to kind of uh build around that kind of third base has kind of become a, a forgotten position, so to speak. So, so does, does Tim Anderson live in Arizona? Is that why he just, went? <laughs> you know, it's because he played in the WBC when Corey was there. Yeah. He threw his bat all the way to Arizona one time. <laughs> uh, Tyler O'Neill also going off the board to Bob. And we, and, and you can't talk about Tyler O'Neill without talking about the fact that he is just, built like a like a brick house yeah yeah his uh, dad was <laughs> mr canada strongman or something at one point of his life back-to-back pitchers go logan gilbert and logan webb oh we got a couple of logans okay and they were my next two. Oh. it's always good when you know you're dead <laughs> luis severino and salvador perez just went Severino starting the year on the DL, correct? It's uh, it's a long term pick by Bob. That, that's that's what we call it when those type of things happen. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, he's just planting little seeds for later in the year, man. Come on, give him some credit. But uh, yeah, uh, I uh, catchers are going uh pretty f- a lot faster than I anticipated. Uh, so I did not anticipate that at all. I anticipated that in my in the baseball life league, because that's a two catcher league, but not in this league. So I'm kind of shocked that they're going pretty fast here. So 
But uh, who's next? Oh, Ricky's up next. I call your um, your Jose Obreu and I raise you and Andrew Vaughn here. I like that pick. Oh, you son of a bitch. It might be too early, but... Uh, I couldn't wait another round to wait. You know, it just... Oh, yeah. no, he was going to be there. If he was my pick. That was That's who I would have taken if he was there. And then Corey... I had a feeling. And, of course, Corey picks MJ Melendez because after I talked about catchers, good. I'm on to you, Corey. I'm on to you. All right. Could you say starting pitcher next right before he picks so I know where I should uh, I should go? <laughs> and Salvador Perez was taken as well. Uh, and Jose Miranda goes right after Andrew Vaughn as well. So that's what I'm talking about, the dead zone, right? Are you comfortable with Gunnar Henderson or Jose Miranda? I mean, I like Jose Miranda, but not in this, not for that price tag. Um, yeah, I love uh, Jose Miranda for that price tag. Oh, well, of course. Oh, the twin fan got him? <laughs> Of course, yep. the Twins fan got it. All right, all right. I see where you. I see you. I see you. I'm just saying. I've been getting Jose and Miranda super late in the draft. That's why I'm saying that I don't no, like. Go ahead. And most most ADPs had them later in the draft, but they got them at three different positions. So no, no. That's seen that the best time to grab them. That's valuable, right there, for sure. It's valuable to be having that kind of uh, versatility. Uh, Luis Arias, who used to have more versatility than what's shown here, he's going to Angel's team. Oh, it's my turn. So uh, this time I do have a few players on the queue. I just don't know which direction to go. As long as it's not one direction, because I don't listen to that type of music. <laughs> I mean, if you need help picking bad players, you can look at my queue. <laughs> Who's on your queue? No, I'm not doing that. I am not doing that at all. No, thank you. <laughs> all right, I yeah, do... That... Go ahead, guys. Who's talking? No, I'm sorry. I was just to say, Corey, just to be fair, I haven't even looked at your queue. So if you had Andrew Vaughn on your queue, I, I wasn't watching. I don't know. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I did talk about catchers and how we're running out of catchers. And there's a few catchers still available, but I don't know if I want to take that kind of risks. Sure, sure. Right, right. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. But you know what? I changed my mind. I thought no. you were. I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to go with... Uh, a favorite of uh, of a lot of people's here. Oh, That's Tommy Edman. Damn. Dang it. Yeah. Well, I, I thought better of it. I already made one rich pick with Hunter Green. I'm not making two in a row, guys. Oh, what do I do now? I am not taking Dansby Swanson. I mean, <laughs> unnamed <laughs> player. Melvin will. Melvin will. Leave him for Melvin. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. You know you want him. Just pick him already. Oh, well. He's too handsome and feel bad. <laughs> Is he in the Cubs now? Yeah, uh, Dansby yeah. Swanson. Yeah. 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 Welcome to uh, March. Dansby Swanson with the Cubs now. Mm. Ty mm -hmm. France going to Carlos Borges' team as well. That was Melvin's guy from last year, right, Melvin? Oh, I had him last year, and uh, he was my <laughs> – when uh, I had no power and he was pretty much the source of all my slug for like the first half of the year. And then I don't know what happened. He kind of stopped hitting home runs. Uh, uh, yeah. The, it's regression. Let's call it regression. When in doubt, just say regression. He regressed back to his mean. So. Oh, I the, like that. You're speaking in analyst, analyst terms. I like I that. Can't say analyst without anal for sure. <laughs> you know, he, he's got his audition coming up, so he's got to go and uh, make sure that he's got the right word. It's, you mean my interview? Like a job interview? <laughs> Excuse me, we're going to get rid of Miss Menden Men uh, Menendez from the... Uh, from the oh, no, I ran out. <sighs> Dansby Swanson oh. and Starling No, Martin. it auto-picked. It auto-picked. Uh, you, you, you had about four minutes there, buddy. Be faster uh, next time. <laughs> no, it auto-picked both of them back-to-back. -back. Oh. I, oh. I didn't know. I didn't know. It was, I didn't you, want more you Teddy. you stop the draft and let him go back, or is that... Uh, nope. Uh, if, if this, if we pay for the website, I could have, but no, I don't see any option for that. I'm not even being facetious. I don't see an option for that. Yeah, it might be because Austin is maybe Austin has that right. <laughs> but... uh, uh, hey, Starlin Marte is a great pick. I mean, I don't have a problem with those picks. I just 10th yeah. round. No, but I needed, I needed a pitcher with one of them. Oof. We got trades, we got trades available after the draft. Okay, so yeah. what you're saying is everyone should pick pitchers for the next like two rounds. <laughs> okay, cool. Let me make sure I understand the strategy. Oh, hey, Yoshida Masataka going to Carlos's team. Wow. That is, that is just racist. 
Why? Because I say like 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 a New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, exactly. broadcaster. Mm-hmm. Masa Alright, you're up, sir. What do you? What oh, are you sorry, doing? sorry. What do you do with right. your with your wonderful team? I don't know what I want to do with my team. It's, I have a lot of options for sure. You always do. You always do. <laughs> but I think now would be the time to get the catcher that I wanted. But I just want to make sure that that's really the catcher that I want, and it is. I don't know if I want to trust those other guys that are after this guy. Because then it's all nothing but rookies and meth players. So I'm going to go with an old favorite of mine. Did he just say yeah. players are meth? Meth. <laughs> yeah. It sounded like. Wilson Contreras going back to Chicago for Team Felipe. So there's my starting catcher. The Cub fan in you must be squirming to have to take a St. Louis Cardinal. No, man. It's all about winning, man. All I see is uh, the best catcher available. And you guys let him fall to me. So I do thank you for that. So one cardinal getting picked. How about we take us? How about we take another one? Anthony Santander went to Angels team. So and Jordan Walker. Wow. You know, I knew I forgot to do something in my cheat sheet this morning. Shoot. What pick? What put put players on it? Uh, put Jordan Walker higher than he is right now. Damn it. Oh mm-hmm. well. Yeah, he's just a rookie. Whatever. I'm not afraid of him. Just nice to have. It would have been a nice to have. Jake McCarthy. Ah. Oh. I was hoping he would come back to me, Jake McCarthy. It's a good pick. I like that one. So you're gonna take him next, then? I was hoping to. I was hoping he'd come back. Because I was debating yeah. between him and Correa, and I needed an outfielder more than Correa. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that one. That one might be. Uh, well, the only, the only worry about Arizona is that they got like a million outfielders that they sh- that should all be starting, and obviously they only have three spots available, so. Uh, uh, Corey, great pick for whoever just got McCarthy. He's gonna go off this year. I mean, I thought he went off last year too, but but no, I, right. I've I've been liking McCarthy for for about since about May or June of last year when he was in the minors. So, Mister Minnesota with a very good pick with Jake McCarthy. Uh, Ricky Velasquez with twenty five yeah. seconds left. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to reach here or what I want to do. So, what round is this? You gonna hurt yourself? I I, I think I'm gonna him. hurt myself here if I don't have. I'm trying to. I'm trying to find my reach and I can't seem to find it. Oh my Get a god! Reach or reach around. Eight seconds before you go to auto. <laughs> oh my god! It's I'm trying to move this thing. It's not working. Uh oh. Oh. Chris Bryant. Nate Lowe. That's, oh. That was not that was not the pick that I wanted. But either way, oh, I mean, remember to I, take yourself off auto though now. Yeah, was- you gotta take it. Yeah, if you guys are on auto, make sure you're off of auto uh, from here on out. Yeah. Uh, Nate Lowe and Carlos Correa also go. I was hoping Nate Lowe would also come back to me, but auto auto draft team got him. And Carlos but Correa, gotta, go ahead. Yeah, I got to believe Chris Bryant's going to have a, a bounce back year as well. I mean, he eventually, I right? He was, be, he couldn't he be much was, worse yeah. than he was. Man, he was brutal last year. Yeah, not 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 uh, not very MVP like of him. Uh, really quick, Carlos Correa. After Carlos Correa went, uh, Patrick Sandoval goes to Corey Decker's team. Christian Walker going to Austin. Willie Adamas going to Suplex City, which is Melvin. So Sandoval, it's a where... back-to-back pick. Oh, oh I got more. yeah, ah, Musgrove. Musgrove so... would be a a Cy Young candidate this year. Ooh, not in my world. <laughs> not in my world. Sorry. All right. None of my words. That's what the uh, the simulation in MLB 23 said that Musgrove was going to be the yeah, I did not, award winner. I did not like that at all. Bryce Harper going to uh, Corey's team. So I, remember those seeds we were talking about? That's a big seed right there. I'll tell you what, man. It's the biggest seed of them all. Go ahead. Who was talking? Well, that's just weird. I'm sorry. I, I interrupted someone. Who was talking back there? Okay. It was in my mind. Never mind. Ah, uh, who else? Uh, uh, Josh Bell going. So Willie Adams and Josh Bell going back to back with Suplex City. It's interesting picks going with the veteran players there. Melvin, are you? Well, I, I needed my. Uh, I, I needed the other uh, infield spots. Gotcha. Like gotcha. second base, shortstop, and uh, players are starting to run thin. So. Yeah, we are in the eleventh round. Uh, all the. I wouldn't call them superstar, maybe star players or steady players, low floor players are starting to kind of disappear little by little. 
Uh, Anthony Rizzo just went. Ryan Helsley just went. Let's do it. Let's see what this is about. Uh, Ooh, Buxton. Oh, Kodai, Kodai Senga going to Ricky's team. And Byron Buxton finally got picked. And he's going to the Twins fan, Matthew Nyland. Hey, he's a top rated center fielder left by a long shot. So, yeah, he uh, that's for sure. He was uh, the highest rated player, period, on my, on my cheat sheet as well. So, that what are your thoughts on, on Senga there, Felipe? Tell me. Uh, I, me yeah, Kodai Senga. I don't know. Ooh. I haven't seen too much of him. He's 30 years old. He's supposed to come in with respectable uh, projections. The walk rate's a little bit too high. The strikeouts is where it's at. That's what's going to make or break him this year. So he's going to a really good Mets team as well. So that is only going to help him. So, but I'll be honest, he was like near the bottom of my current crop of players. Like, what would that be? About 35th overall. There was, so I, I'm, my thing is saying that there's maybe 34 better starting pitchers, but there, there is bias. Obviously, you know, I'm going after guys that I want to get. Not that Senga is not one of them, but not for this price. So. But hey, if the 25% projected strikeout rate is any indication, that might be a really good pick by you, even if it's a little early. Uh, Taylor Ward yeah. just went. Uh, yeah, good good pick, Corey. So, I mean, I'm just going to put it this way, and maybe this is breaking the rules, but the other guy who's in the top of my queue, that was a choice. So if somebody else takes him, that's great. I don't see myself taking him now as quite a, you know. But uh, I don't know if I made the right choice or not. What about Taylor Ward? Uh, he's going to get left field eligibility soon, too. Or so I mean, be left and right. This would be the one time I may have played who, who hasn't been taken. I was looking at either Ward or Castellano. I mean, that's – I don't know. I mean, I think they're very close, but – Well – Would you guys have gone with Ward or Castellano? That uh, Ward. Tough to say. I'm taking Ken, Kenley Jansen. Ooh, with the uh, pitch clock? No, thank again, you. Again, Kenley Jansen going in drafts. I don't understand. With the pitch clock, too? Have you ever is it? Have you ever watched him pitch? Yeah, and, and going to the Red Sox. But I'm going to go with a better, with a much, much better. Let me just double check if he's healthy or not. This is about the time where you check that people are healthy. No surprises. Uh, we'll pitch again Monday. Oh, that was from Sunday. Uh, he showed off his impressive fastball in his spring debut earlier in the week and looks ready to roll for the start of the season. I'm going to go with Felix Bautista. Let's do this. It's a guy I've been targeting in a lot of my drafts, so this is the way we wrote the script. So we're going to stick with the script. Felix Bautista on Team Felipe team. Felipe's team. And I'd say this one thing. He's definitely better than Kenley Jansen. That's true. Book it. That a, that's a good point. I watched a lot of Kenley Jansen last year. Yeah? Uh, to why? my detriment. Because he was with the Braves. I know, I'm joking. <laughs> I think the better question is, why Why was he with the Braves? Yeah, did you think uh, Kenley Jansen uh, killed your chances of, me, of repeating as world champions? No. He, oh, he didn't. okay. Okay. But he wasn't good. He was okay. He was okay. <laughs> yeah, I think you were better the first time. He wasn't good. Oh. He wasn't worth $16 million, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, we're still waiting on Carlos Borges. I wonder if I stole one of his picks. Ooh, Jeffrey Springs. Ooh, okay. Jeffrey Springs. Yeah, I like, you know, you can't go wrong. Well, I'm not going to say too much, but you can't go wrong with the Jeffrey Springs. I mean, Bring ahead. Jeff, I'm going to say this about Jeffrey. Jeffrey Springs is so good that they decided to have the Major League Baseball season by his name, by his last name. Wow. Yeah. You said a lot of things that I'm not sure if I should laugh at, and I finally found one I'm definitely not going to. Just do it, man. You know you want to. <laughs> Nike, just do it. <laughs> it's still early, guys. It's only the 11th round. We got, uh, well, now the 12th round as Nick Lodolo goes off the board. That's one of the guys I was targeting as well, but I already have too many pitchers to begin with. I need to concentrate on other positions. <laughs> and Kristen Yelich also goes. How old is Kr Kristen Yelich, and when was the last time he was good? Uh, I forgot 2020, maybe Clay yeah, Holmes 2019 was his last good year. That's uh, uh, that was also the the make of his tires in his car. Good year, <laughs> that was better than the last show. Yeah. Um, pom. That's also where he plays his spring training games. Good year, Arizona. Right. Stop while you're ahead. 
Okay, I'm lying about that. <laughs> I don't know where he plays. <clears throat> well, um, you guys took a lot of my guys. I, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to go here. So that might, I apologize. I definitely don't want a relief pitcher. And I feel like I have enough starting pitchers to hold me over. So I need to concentrate on filling out the rest of my roster. Just what direction am I going in? That's yep. always the $1 million question, isn't it? There's still a lot of good players available. But you know what, gang? Gang. I might just play it safe a little bit. I do have a gaping gaping hole at shortstop. Jesus, that sounded really dirty. But I'm going to go ahead and cover that hole. Yeah, it doesn't sound any better. With Nico Horner. So hopefully that doesn't come and bite me in the ass. Nico Horner is uh, definitely not a player that kind of excites me. But we're running out of shortstops here. And he hey, won't hit anything hard. So. Mm -hmm. Well, he will uh, qualify at second base eventually, right? Because Dancy Swanson's playing at short, right? I hope. Yeah. So multi, I like my, uh, I like the uh, Swiss Army knives that I can get at any position. And he will uh, definitely get some steals for sure. He's projected to get about 19 stolen bases. Good on base percentage, limits of strikeouts. Strikeouts are something we're keeping track of this year in this league. So that for offensive players. So, uh, uh, well, we got some comments here that Angel Morales is saying that Jansen pick should let you know that I was interrupted. Okay, Angel. Great pick. Uh, Carlos, Jansen <laughs> got walked off the mound with a trainer at yesterday's game, LOL. <laughs> Ricky, great pick. <laughs> Nico Horner, interesting. So yeah. Homer. So yeah, I'm not. I'm, it's like I'm reaching like three rounds before he's actually due. You guys, Nico Horner, like some people are with their Homer picks. Not mentioning names, whatever. Who's Corey. next on the? <laughs> so I, I think with Corbin Carroll up there, Corey gets the Homer of the year. <laughs> That's for sure. Brandon Lau, Brandon Lau just goes off the board as there's jingles playing everywhere right now inside my ears. CJ Crone just went, and so the Kyle Wright. Well, time to get one of those veteran guys that seems like he's never going to stop pitching. Oh, boy. Oh, I was wondering <laughs> about that. Clayton Kershaw goes off the board, along with Camilo Doval going to Auto Drafts team. Kershaw's back holds up. That'll be a great pick. Yeah. Ah, lordy lord. I was wondering who was gonna go. Who was gonna bite first? I know I did. Uh, well, you, uh, uh, Ricky, you'll be happy to know that in the baseball life league, I got Clayton Kershaw in the virtual tenth round after the nine after nine players were kept on each team. Clayton Kershaw okay. went in with my first pick overall in the tenth round. You got him in the twelfth round. So that's uh, value. That, that's a lot more value than what I got for him. So good job on that one. Thank you. If if, if you're if you had any doubts there, uh, I think there's still something left in Clayton Kershaw. I, I definitely do. So better question: Is there anything left at, at center field? Mm -mm -mm. Jesus Christ! Well, I, I, there's a reason why I drafted Julio Rodriguez with my number one pick overall. I totally understand. I think, I think Juan Pierre is still available. Uh, the <laughs> thing right, that's gonna kind of... the thing that's gonna haunt me, you guys, is was J-Rod the correct pick or should I have gone with Mike Trout at center field? And I don't know how to feel about that, but that's going to bite me in the ass, I feel like, if I let it. I think it's time to stop feeling. I, I will never lose that loving feeling. I don't think both of them did very well at the WBC, right? Uh, J-Rod looked good defensively. Trout had a game where he drove in all of the runs for Team America, so... I'm not going to – I'm not giving up on Mike Trout. Just like. <laughs> Let me see. j is the one that, that missed the ball, and then was it Lindor that had a triple or probably inside the park home run? Yeah, that was him. Yep, you got it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was talking about. I said he looked good defensively. <laughs> well, we, we're not we're not measuring – we don't have any defensive um, statistics to keep track of, so that that's fine. Uh, <laughs> back to uh, – uh, more pitchers going off the board. Daniel Bard – going to Bob's team, Martin Perez going to Corey Decker's team, and Chris Bassett going to uh, uh, Austin's team, who's currently on the autopilot. So uh, who haven't I heard from yet? Oh, well, Melvin's on the clock. So, Ricky, who was your favorite pitcher of that trio of pitchers that just went right now? 
Um, probably, I, mean, I don't like pitchers in Colorado. It's not that I don't like Bart, but I just don't like that that field. But I probably say right now, uh, um, probably Martin Perez is not a bad pick there. Yeah, I don't like Martin Perez at all. But that, that's that's Come fine. On. I hey, Felipe, like who's talking to the Lord? Melvin. Yeah. Um, y'all was, was talking saying, about what's left on center field. That, that was well, Corey, not me. Well, well, y'all left. What's left on center field is my homer pick because I'm counting on a bounce back year and I'm going to do it. It's going to be a bounce back year. I'm going to do it. There it is. My homer pick. Cody Bellinger. <laughs> Interesting. Let me, let me just hey, share this. How's the you, weed uh, in Chicago? It's legal. <laughs> it's legal. So there you go. But it was legal in California too. So easy access. Oh, I'm up. All right. All right. Luis Garcia goes after Cody Bellinger. Uh, William Contreras going to Corey Ducker's team. I'm at Rosario to Bob and Nick Castellanos to team auto draft. And before so- there's no more catchers, I think I'll take a catcher here. <laughs> They're running quickly. Who's the catcher? Sean pick. Murphy. Yeah, that was Sean uh, Murphy. That's not bad. I just I've been burned by Sean Murphy way too many times. So as the ESPN jingle goes off, I hope you don't get sued for that. That's not our that shouldn't be our fault. You know, right? you know, I think I think between Murphy and Chapman, they have been the ones that have burnt me the most over the past few years. Sean Murphy and Matt Chapman. They they they're doing the cane on me, man. They've burnt me so many times. The the Patrick Kane? No, the big red machine mayor of oh, uh, oh, the mayor Knox of Knox County, Tennessee, yeah. uh, Kane. Gotcha. Uh, what the hell's his real name? I forgot. Glenn oh, Jacobs. Jacobs. Thank you. Oh, yeah, the, the honorable, the honorable mayor Glenn Jacobs, I guess. The honorable. <laughs> so I wanted to let Melvin know that in the, another draft of my keeper draft that we had, Cody Bellinger went undrafted, um, and I ended up picking him up as. Uh, a free agent pick after everything cleared waivers, but so just just to say that uh, maybe you were ten rounds early on that pick. Ooh, yeah. Well, you uh, know what? Y'all were ten rounds earlier getting every damn center fielder around here. So <laughs> no, we weren't because we didn't. I didn't want to get stuck with Cody Bellinger. That's for sure. <laughs> Let's see who you get stuck with. Uh, Holy Rodriguez, man. Who I meant now. You up. Alex Verdugo was with the last pick. Uh, Team Mexico represent. No, I am going to take a leap of faith here, you guys. Oh, wow. We got some good players here on my queue. Or should I go pitcher? Hmm. Ah, uh, <coughs> oh, Lordy Lord. It's always tough. It's always tough. You get to this point why, of the draft. Why do you think uh, we got Lucas Giolito just went out? Yeah, I saw that. Uh, Henry, back. Henry How's actually- he looking? Henry actually picked them in the t- virtual 10th, 11th, or 12th, somewhere around that vicinity in the 10th, 11th, 12th round in our league as well. So the only thing that I can say about Giolito is his idea last year was to gain 30 pounds because he thought that the legs were going to help him and it hurt him. So he lost the weight again. And I'm hoping he can get back to where he used to be uh, with the weight off him. Dang gum it, Felipe. What, the Giancarlo Stanton pick? Yes. I didn't he's realize that he, the DL. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna have a good year. Yeah, that's why bounce, bounce back. Fourth best player available on my board here. So, but uh, I, I honestly think he might be better than that um, as well. So yeah, hopefully he, the shift going away could help him because he would get reverse shifted. Yeah, yeah. That's the righty shift, the but it's. <laughs> <laughs> But the, no, the, the big thing about him is that we, it just, everything just has big to stay healthy. Him. Well, it just has to stay healthy because in that ballpark, he can mash for sure. Right. For sure. He can mash in that ballpark any day of the week. So that's always been the allure about Giancarlo Stanton. Uh, who's next? Oh, Dylan Carlson just went. Okay. That I was not expected that. And I also see that Blake Snell got picked and I didn't realize that. So, oops. I thought I had him. Blake Snell room. was still here in the 13th round. There was a problem. Ah, hey man, Cody Bellinger was still available in the 13th round. So. True point. True point. <laughs> so anything is possible. Anything is possible to quote Kevin, Kevin Garnett. Garnett. Yeah, thank you. 
And like I said, Dylan Carlson just went. Uh, Dylan Carlson. I always like Dylan Carlson, but every time I look at his projected numbers, I, it leaves me wondering what's the hold up there. He's my 55th best player on the board as of right now. Well, 54th because I haven't taken out Giancarlo Stanton yet. But Lance Lynn. All right. Yeah, Lance Lynn. One for the big guys. That's right. <laughs> The best Team USA pitcher on the on the mound. He's just not saying much. Yeah, all right. Man, USA definitely has to send better pitchers. Yeah. They need to uh, grow a pair and just just do it. Not to uh, not to downplay anyone, but yeah, they. It's, it's simple as that. They need to grow a pair. Ooh, I don't want to hurt myself. I mean, we, I mean, uh, let's not be preaching to the choir here, but we saw plenty of players get hurt in spring training as well, doing the dumbest things. Not to uh, short change any of those guys. Reese Hoskins was very unfortunate, but you can get hurt walking down the stairs. I mean, we've seen, I think we've seen Jake Cutler or Jake Plummer, one of the Jakes, and to use a football example, uh, trip over his dog. No, or was that Brian Robinson for the Bears too? Well, we've seen plenty of football players trip over their dogs and injure their hands. Well, you remember back <laughs> in the day, uh, Kevin Apier? Was no, what happened to him? The DL and he fell on one of his kid's toys and fell down a flight of stairs. <laughs> Not to laugh, but that does sound pretty. It funny. definitely, definitely wasn't his wife pushing him. No, Ooh. no. It's time for you to get out of the house. Wait, you're leaving me again. See ya. Dustin Ooh, May. Dustin May. Like, uh. screw this. I'm not waiting around. Says Carlos. I want him, Dustin May. I want Dustin May. I want May in March. That's what I want. I want May in me. Boom. Uh. <laughs> No. Well, Tyler Glass now is a guy that I picked in the other league as well around this time of the of the draft. So pitch. I'm gonna pick him right now. Felipe, sir, terrific pitch, uh, terrific pick. Yeah, number one player on my board as of right now. Not anymore. He's gone. So it's off to Angel now. I'm pretty sure Angel's mad at that too because he's a race fan. Wait, he's a race? Oh, Tampa Bay race fan. Oh, but he's got he's got uh is Nestor the Nestor Cortez is his, basically his mascot. And he's a race fan. Yeah. It's a play on words, man, like Razor Ramones. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, all right, oh, all right, all right. Oh, geez. I didn't realize the fun police is here. Okay. I, I stopped having fun about 12 years ago. Oh. What, when you were 12 years old? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It was nice. Oh, so, yeah, this is a, a guy that, uh, what's his face? Um, uh, Angel has been picking up a lot in drafts, and that is Eugenio Suarez. I also was going to try to get Glavar Torres back, but I guess Corey had other plans. And Tyro Estrada going to a team ankle play. That's Nyland's team up in Minnesota. 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 Nailed it. <laughs> so let's see. Suarez went. So I'm trying to look for him on my draft board. Is Joe Ryan actually good, or was last year an anomaly? I like him. I like him a lot. He was one of the guys that Sean and I, we he was my guy that I spotlighted in one of the in one of our minor league shows. And we we try to tell you guys, watch out for Joe Ryan. He's killing it in AAA. He's gonna kill it once he gets to the majors. The only thing that was bad about him was that he got hurt a lot. But the twins, that's, that's, I mean Nyland. Yeah. Nyland can testify to this that there was a lot of good potential up there but everybody just seems to get hurt at the wrong time and yeah, I, I, I was go ahead i'm sorry you're the twins fan go ahead yeah that's why they fired the entire training staff good and now the guy who led the a's is the leader of the twins and he got all new guys so it was all injuries all the time yeah, and I had all three like, three or four of those guys at one time, Bailey Ober, Joe Ryan, Sonny Gray, and all my teams, and they were all freaking hurt every single time. And it just got – even Tyler Molly got hurt once he got traded from the Reds. So well, if, you, if you keep on having a product, it's a problem. <laughs> and Chris Paddock. That's, oh, well, Chris Paddock was a he – was, he was screwed from the get-go. His biggest crime was that he couldn't make it in San Diego. So, so he – well, he paid for it by going to the Twins, by getting traded to the Twins. Exactly. Uh, Joe Ryan was my number one uh, best available pitcher at the time. So if that answers further, um, answers your question. And speaking of Twins, Jorge Polanco just went to uh, 
How it's long Austin's is he out for? How long is he out for anyway? I don't know. I didn't know he was hurt, honestly. Well, there's a big well, okay. I'm just gonna put this. There's a big O in front of him. You guys can take that comment any way you like. <laughs> uh well, I don't know. What does it say? Click oh well, you well, I guess if you click on his name, it's gonna I don't know. Uh, well, we got Nylon here. Nylon, what's up with uh, Jorge Polanco? Nobody seems to know. And that's well, the that's truth. Like, that's he was fine. Er, he had an owie, and he was fine, and now he needs surgery. Oh, that's great. That's Ooh. that's all I got for you, because literally that's all anyone knows. Well, that's not good. No. Freddie Peralta. Go ahead. Ah, Freddie Peralta. Freddie Peralta. Good pick here. The thirteenth best pitcher on my board. He's nasty, a, man. He just can't stay healthy. He can't stay healthy and he can't stay consistent. That's the problem. I mean, I'm done with him. I don't want to deal with him anymore. Sounds like he's great in relationships, then. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna say anything. I thought I heard something bad about him, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna speculate. Anymore. Maybe I'm confusing it with someone else. Reed Detmers just went. Reed Detmers was my best starting pitcher available. So yeah, good. I like Detmers. I like him. So Melvin redeeming himself a little bit there. Yandy Diaz, a Sean Flannery special going to who's that? Oh, of course he's going to Austin because he listens to the podcast all the time. And I think he even picked him in the Mardi Gras League too. And, and I think he mentioned that that was for Sean as well. So David Robertson. Uh, that that was me, the one that picked uh Yandy at, in the Mardi Gras League. Oh, you did. So I'm sorry, I'm confusing the two. And it, of you. Was, it was indeed for Sean. Yeah, so I'm sure Austin's doing it for Sean here as well. David Robertson going to uh, Corey Decker's team as well. Big dumper, Cal Raleigh. And Scott Barlow. The new us. Mike Zanina. The new, what, the big dumper, Raleigh? Yeah. He's got a huge dumper. No, sorry. Who took Barlow? Oh, out of draft. That's, that was my pick. He was cute. Huh? Scott Barlow? Yeah. That's okay. You could do better. You could do better for sure. No, I, I know. But I'm just... Trying to fill up my roster at this point here, but yeah, I got you, man. I got you. Yeah, I'm trying to do the same thing too. Uh, the the queue is thinning up a little bit. That's not not what I wanted to see here. I might have to start digging deep and get some of these uh, deep cuts here. But as I was just getting to that point of the draft where it's like, man, it's a lot of boring veterans available. Who's who else is available here? Drew, oh wow! Drew Rasmussen going to uh, going to uh, b -b 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 Matthew Nyland's team. David before <laughs> that, David Bednar went to Ricky's team, and Chris Sale just went to Corey Richmond's team. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That you guys are. Uh, Digging deep. I do like the David Bednar pick, though. That, I think David Bednar is better than Scott Barley. The only thing I don't like about David Bednar is I don't know what the Pirates are going to do for, with him the rest of the year. And that, so he, that was my hesitation right there. When You yeah. know, when you, you talk about the teams that they're on, especially how many, you know, closing situations is he going to actually have? But we'll see. <laughs> yeah, if he gets traded to a good team, you know, he can always get, he can always get holds, but obviously holds are a little bit more um, unpredictable than saves. Yeah. Right. So we'll see. But I, I, as a pitcher, I mean, he looked pretty good for Team America this in the WBC. So well, I will keep talking. So we're not in dead silence here. What? How many? How long have we been up here? Almost ninety minutes, you guys. Does it feel like it's been ninety minutes? Not about eighty-five. Eighty-five. Yeah, it feels like an eighty-five minute thing. I think it's going pretty good. Yeah, right. It's pretty well paced. We got the two auto teams that are, you know, speeding things up a little bit. We got some interesting players still available. Not the best, but not the worst either. So, so uh, Chris Sale, over under 100 innings this year. I, I 125 under. for me. Under. Over. 85. Over. 50, 53 innings. <laughs> 83 innings. Javier I want Baez. you to write these down, Felipe. Write these down. Let's get them uh, somewhere. See who gets no, I need, I need a producer to do that for me. I'm not doing all that. I, I'm already, you know. A ahead. dollar for the winner. Let's go. Closest. A dollar for the winner? <laughs> I'm going to interrupt. I'm going to interrupt my draft for a dollar. That's the ticket. Worth it. <laughs> Javi Baez. Yeah, talk about that guy. Now the mighty have fallen. 
Mm. Remember when he was good? I think he's still got a swim move or two. Mm. <laughs> he's got a lot more than that. But he's got to get on base. <laughs> yeah. And leave, and, leave, and leave the girlfriends alone. Oh, jeez. Oh, what did I say? And hit the break. He's a good-looking ball. guy. All right, I'm going to play it safe here, you guys. You play something safe? How's yeah, that John Gray. I'm going to go with John Gray. John Gray. Had him last year, too. He did pretty well. I think that ballpark in Texas is doing wonders to a lot of those guys up there. Down there, I should say. Colorado called. They're so glad he's gone. Ah, Duran's gone. Yeah. That's a good pick. Yeah. Yeah, John Duran is another one of those guys that we talked about back in 2020, I believe, Sean and I, and he was my guy that I spotlighted when we did one of those minor league showcase shows, and I was very high on, on uh, John Duran, but I was high on him as a starting pitcher, not as a new pitcher. So. Were you high when you were talking about him, though? Was I high? No. Okay. Not you. Not you, you Darvish. <laughs> Excuse me. Jesus Luzardo, all yeah. the, of the world. Can he ever stay healthy? I don't know, but I had him queued up, and now he's not there anymore. So a good pick by uh, – who is that? Shane. Oh, that was me. Kevin. That was me. Kevin getting me back a little bit for all those other times I robbed him. So Try to. <laughs> Gun points, a beautiful thing. Uh, it's all right, man. I got plenty of, plenty of aces up my sleeves. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Rap. Inglacius, a good spot. I mean, I, I know he's hurt at the moment, but Inglacius is a good spot right here for him. So I think that's. Yeah, I guess. Spot. Yeah, he was my number one relief pitcher for a long time on my board. And I'm not too happy. I, I wasn't too like, oh man, I got to get Rice and Iglesias. I just don't like the guy. You know who I do like, though? J- uh, Justin Turner used to. Remember when Justin Turner was like a fifth round pick? Yeah, that was a while back ago. But I'm going to go reliever as well. Okay. The best reliever on the board. Okay. Pound for pound. Andres Munoz should have been in Team Mexico. If he were in Team Mexico, it would have been Team Mexico going to the final against USA. Mm. That's that would have been the real border border border, uh, border war. Sorry, <laughs> another queued up player taken right before I pick. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the club. I was looking at him earlier, but you know I already got two two quality closers, so I was gonna be like, I had five on it. <laughs> <laughs> So I know just, we're not supposed to talk about undrafted players, but man, <laughs> poor, poor, Joe, poor Joe is so lonely up there. Joey, um, no, we're not supposed to talk much. <laughs> I'm not going to dignify that with a response. Do your own research. Yeah. Remember, when, remember when you used to tell people to do their own research and it wasn't meant to be like an insult, something, an insult or something <laughs> to question? So while we still have some time here, uh, good old days. The good old the molester. Where where do you think molester's going? Yeah, we 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 uh, transfer from do your own research to molester. Hey, you know, if you want to be good at something, you know, practice. you gotta. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? You practice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is it Carne- Carnegie or Carnegie? <laughs> what was that? I'm sorry. Carnegie, I believe. Oh, okay. Peter Fairbanks just went to team. Oh, yeah, and that, that makes sense. He's a big race fan. I actually like I like Peter Fairbanks a lot, so good pick. If he's not saving, he's going to be holding, and he comes in with very low rate stats. Good strikeout numbers for a reliever. Tony Gonsolin, Hunter Brown going back-to-back, so a couple of uh, prospect pitchers, so to speak. He's also the inspiration behind the uh, what's your raise reliever name game who tony gosselin no peter fairbanks oh peter fairbanks you take take the the first name of the first white guy you can think of and the the city furthest north that you've ever visited uh steven steven st paul i could be a raised reliever or or your poor name (laughs) no that's the middle name and then the street that you grew up in okay so mine would have been sal bernard Oh, that sounds so dirty. Brian yeah. McDonald. What is it? Was it? I, I was always like a first pet. Wasn't it like first pet and something? Uh, all right. If you want to play that game, we can play that game. So first pet and what now? 
That street you grew up on, right? Oh, uh, Sergeant Tommy. <laughs> Mine is Gypsy Kruger. <laughs> it's the Go dog around. days. It's the dog days of the draft here, guys. Uh, Team Mexico's Joy Manessa just went along with Ian Happ, Paul Seawald, Anthony Rendon, and JD Martinez. So a, a couple of veteran players uh, who used to be good going back to back. You can talk about to, Joey now. Is it too late to uh, to change my name to uh, to Gypsy Kruger? Is that uh, okay? Uh, my name? Uh, uh, a little bit too late, yeah, a little oh, bit. Man. So uh, we got Joey Manessas, okay, Ian Happ, as I marked them off my list here. Roddy yeah. Tellez just went. I'll be honest. I thought I thought he would have been gone earlier, Manessas. Yeah, yeah. It's good value if you can get on this late. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm having a hard time keeping up with you guys. Slow down a little bit. No, I'm joking. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give you a minute here. <laughs> oh, thank you. I don't trust Manessas just from when he was in the Braves minor league system. I watched him suck for a while. Yeah. We have a guest on the – we have a guest on the program, so to speak. Oops, I don't know if you guys can see my – I don't know if you guys Hello. can see my daughter. Can you guys see her? I don't know. Yeah. Hi. Hello, girl. All right, say hi, Penny. Hi. Hey, Penny. Teddy Grams? Oh, no. Oh, Teddy Grams are the best. Yeah, they are. Oh, no, another Tyler Anderson. Another Tyler one. Tyler Anderson just went. I figured I'd make it two Tylers back to back. How about that? Yeah, and I, I got to look for him. That sucks. And I only have one hand to type with. And, and I've got a tailor. Is that, is that a good thing? I guess. I guess. Go ahead. Distract Bobby. Go ahead. Is it my turn? Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I thought it was my turn. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, she is. She is a distraction. She's a cute distraction, though. There's a good set of Who is it? Oh, Riley Green? Oh, man. I don't know. I needed a center fielder. But yeah, maybe you should have gone with Cody Bellinger. He was taken before I was available to take him. Camera's on. So I got the whole family in my in my office, so to speak. Here, um, Jorge Lopez went. Oh, geez, I'm really far behind. Jose Leclerc went. Hey, that's my brother, Jorge Lopez. You know. Oh, I, I I did not know that. Yeah, I think I saw Cabrian Hayes go. Yep. And who else went? AJ Minter. That's a good pick. Very yes, sneaky pick is. there. Who who made that? Lots of holds. Yeah, he's supposed to lead the league in holds again this season, according to ATC projections. Uh, Corey Decker finally making a pick that I actually uh, commend. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Ooh. I like to uh, bust his chops a little bit. Um, oh, we're still waiting on Angel. Okay, good. Got a few players on my queue. I don't know if I'm going to pick any of those guys. I'm just taking one last look on my spreadsheet. Take a sip of uh, liquor if every time I say the word spreadsheet. I'm drunk already then. Yeah, and uh, it, uh, <laughs> Kevin Miller's uh, cough would have gone away already too. Promethazine. I, I was already tipsy when you kept I, – I was doing the drinking game. I think I was on mute. Every time you said uh, champion, fantasy champion, I kept drinking. And oh, yeah. I'm you done. Know, I'm going to bring it up as much as possible for sure. Adam Adovino just went. The Mr. The Go ahead. Ooh. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean it literally there, uh, Kevin. I didn't mean it literally. To take a shot. No, right, no, let's... that was, that was just coughing. Oh, okay. You're up, Felipe. Just I, I know, I know. I see. So I need, I need a few. I have a few open spots. I just don't know if I like any of these players here. Mm -hmm. my daughter is crying. She wanted to stay in my bedroom a little longer. No, nah, Daddy's busy. Daddy has a championship to defend for sure. Is that what you're calling it? Yeah. Daddy? No, I'm Daddy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go with an old favorite of mine, Jesse Winker. Hopefully, he stays healthy. And the move to Milwaukee does him wonders. So that means we now move it to Carlos Borges. Borges, sorry. Oh, 
Oh, I just don't want three rounds in a row to go where somebody keeps taking my cue players. Can you guys leave my next player alone, please? Thank you. Das Jung just went. I, I'm looking forward to them giving him a psychology nickname, you know, Carl Young, Josh Young. And Jordan Montgomery, who was on my queue, just went. I knew I there was a good chance that he was not going to make it back to me. So that's a, the type of uh, risks you take. Unfortunately, when you go a certain direction, but you know, there's uh, there's there's a lot of good pitchers still available. Lots of good pitchers available, so I'm not gonna sweat it too much there. <laughs> Whit, Whit Merrifield, wow, yeah, back to back, back to back Gamecocks. <laughs> they both went to South Carolina. Yes, sir. Oh, I did not know that. I, I did not know that that they were Gamecocks. I'm sure Vince would appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he would. Cox City every Monday nights. Every other Mondays? I forgot yeah. what, their, what their new schedule would be. So Tristan Cassis, I'm, I'm not talking about him, but his brother, Gavin, plays for South Carolina too. Does Tristan also play for South Carolina? No, Tristan did not. Oh, would he be a lot straight out of high school. Straight out of high school. Crazy motherfucker named Ice Cube. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, so we're waiting on Carlos on the return. We are entering the 18th round. We're <laughs> about, what would you say, two-thirds of the way done here? And I just got sniped. I was about to pick yep. Jonathan India, and I just got sniped. Oh, oh. man. Now I'm going to scramble a little bit here. But you know what, guys? This is why I always have a backup plan. I'm just making sure that that is the direction I want to go in. Actually, hmm. That was also my cue. Hmm. Keeps happening. Damn, yeah. Well, I guess that answers my question as to which direction I should go in. So I'm going to go with Mm. Alex Cobb, as you, if you guys are aware, I am a big oh. fan of his. I had him in a couple of leagues last year uh, to finish out the season. So I'm hoping more of the same that he picks up on that momentum for 2023. And the most important thing about him, gentlemen, he pitches for the San Francisco Giants in that gargantuan ballpark over there. So very important, muy importante. Trey very Mancini. Importante. The question is, are you going to change his name to Elote? Elote, oh, you know I am. Alejandro Elote, for sure. Alejandro Elote, corn on the cob, right? That's yeah. right. If I'm the Giants, I am uh, running with that marketing scheme. <laughs> Get your Alejandro Elotes. It comes uh, with a bobblehead of Alex Cobb, corn on the cob. Jose Berrios. We still believe in Jose Berrios, guys? Man, no. No. No, such a disappointment. No. Well, here's the 14th Sorry. best pitcher available on my sheet here. All right, Seth Brown. Also, I'm going. Goes. I'm going to another oh, pitcher here. Brown. I'm going to another pitcher here. Seth Brown, number 37 on my cheat sheet. Good job, whoever did that. Yeah, I wanted. I wanted Brown. Brady Singer and Tyler Molly just went. So back to back pitchers, back to back. Uh, well, Brady Singer's not a veteran, but just plays one on TV. And That's he got three straight out of my queue. Three straight. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, Brady, I was going to say Brady Singer got hammered in the WBC, especially against Team Mexico. So that was a problem for the Team USA there. He wasn't ready, though. He wasn't ready yet. He wasn't ready? That's the excuse we're using now? Yeah. I thought this was America. I thought we were the best country in the world. But, they, and they, also remember, they 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 really weren't trying. So. Oh yeah, yeah, they yeah. weren't trying. Yeah, I was there firsthand. Yeah. They weren't trying at all, you guys. Not at all. Especially trying against Otani. Yeah, he was not trying at all. No man, he was still. That was his golf swing, not his baseball swing. Poor Mike Trout. That one at bat is gonna like redefine his career. 
Mike Trout does all these great things in Major League Baseball, but that one at bat in the World Baseball Classic forever has him scarred <clears> right now. Big stage. What are you doing? It is a big, big stage. No, you're you're hundred percent correct. It just I don't know. It just the last uh, what was, wasn't that like his first ever strikeout with three swinging strikes or something like that? Yeah, it was something crazy. Yeah, yeah he, I've seen there was some shit about that. Like, pretty sure yeah. that's what it was. And no contact then. I mean, no chip, nothing. <laughs> Uh, more pitchers off the board. Sonny Gray, Marcus Stroman are now gone. Um, I like the Marcus Stroman pick a little bit better than the Sonny Gray pick. And Sir Anthony Dominguez also is off the board for the Phillies. Royalty. Royalty. Oh, Sir Anthony? Because uh, he's a knight? That's right. And, of course, my guy that I've been targeting this late in the draft. In all my drafts, I was not able to get him in this one. Ike Paredes says. As- Excuse me, as you guys may or may not know, Isaac Paredes has been a good favorite of mine. I didn't even know he was Mexican, honestly. I, the first time I found out he was Mexican is when I saw him on the Team Mexico roster. Like, orale, way. All right. Simone, speaking of uh, not knowing that he was a uh, nationality, Lars Newtbar just went. I did not know that he was Japanese until he, his, his name showed up on the uh, on the uh, World Baseball Classic roster. But Lars Newtbar is basically the Dan Smith of Japanese baseball, and I am here for that. <laughs> So for those who watch uh, Key and Peel, <laughs> that's where that joke comes from. More outfielders, uh, although uh, Oswald Peraza is not an outfielder. He's a shortstop. Uh, but Andrew Benintendi is, and he's going to Team Decker. So hopefully, for my sake, as a White Sox fan, he comes in with a big year because he's kind of underwhelmed Andrew Benintendi a little bit the last few years. Smaller ballpark he goes to with the White Sox. So hopefully that's what the doctor orders for him. Show some little pop. I know he comes in with a lot of contact rate. Limits his strikeouts very well. But, yeah, if he's going to make an impact, he needs to uh, hit him towards the gaps and maybe get some out of the ballpark as well. Oh, Bob, you suck. And the throttle draft. Golly. I was really hoping I can get those guys in the next couple rounds. Evan Felipe, Phillips. I was going to take Grayson. You weren't going to get him. I was going to oh, get okay. him right now. So now well, Evan I'm, Phillips I'm for sure. In my meals. Well, and I was, was, go ahead. I was taking him too if he lasted until this pick. All right. Well, I don't feel so bad anymore, but I was really hoping for Evan Phillips at the very least. It's okay. There's a lot of relief pitchers left. Grayson Rodriguez is the number one guy. Uh, number one guy on my draft board at the moment. Number one guy in my heart. I would, Well, clearly not number one because he, you know, I was hoping to get him in the yeah. 20th round. Go ahead. Coming off that injury, though, how's he going to do, you know? Who, Grayson Rodriguez? Yeah. It, it, it's, uh, it's, it's one of those planter. It's one of those planter picks, right? You just plant the seeds and wait for it to sprout sometime in the year. you got to be patient with him. Who got him? Yeah, of course, the autopilot got him. So, Hey, oh. Felipe, how many what? games does a player have to play in this league in order to gain eligibility? At I don't know. At, at ESPN's rules, I have no idea. I know that usually I prefer at least five, uh, 10 games, I think, or is it five games? I thought it was hmm, – I don't know. But ESPN is a little bit more liberal with their uh, positional definitions. So I think if they play one inning, they get – I don't know. I feel like ESPN gives everybody eligibility everywhere, so – you might get lucky, but yeah, if this was if this is a Felipe league, I, I would want to see them play five games at the very least, or maybe yeah. ten games. Yeah, that's yeah, why it I used was, to be ten. I was going by ten because I'm pretty sure that's why I picked Newt Bar because I'm pretty sure Bellinger is going to flop in center field and Newt Bar has played well, in you... center field. So why why <laughs> because... I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to flop. It was a white. Well, you know him. what? That was a little a little bit of faith on my part and a little bit of Homer pick as well. So. Plus, New Bar Cardinal. So. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. I do like the CJ Abrams pick, whoever made it. Oh, Ricky made it. That's a nice pick. Ooh, Tristan Cassis just went. And Alec Baum. All right. Oh, I wanted Alec Baum. Ah. Oh, I'm next? Oh, boy. I don't think I'm ready, guys. CJ Abrams just went. 
think I marked them. Oh, I did mark them off. Casas also went. Where is he? Tristan House. Houses. Oh, Tristan Houses, sorry. And Alec Bohm. Ah, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's getting to that point of the draft that you got to kind of throw away your rankings a little bit and just go with your gut, right? And unfortunately, there's really nobody out there that I really, really desperately want. Uh, by the way, that of the three players, I think I, I, the three players that just recently went, Abrams, Casas, and Bohm, I think I would go with uh, Tristan Casas as my pick to click there. Anybody else see it differently? Uh, Bohm. Uh, you like Bohm? It, okay. If he can, if he can adjust to having to get in the box quicker, he's a guy who takes a while. Uh, yeah, so. it's going to be an adjustment for everybody, so... But, uh, yeah, some more than others, obviously. But uh, anybody else have any opinion on that? Uh, Abrams, Cassis, Baum trio, the trio of young players. Anybody else? I will take that as a no. So, Angel got Adam Duvall. All right. Ooh. Do I, I even have him on my list? I don't know. Let me see. I do. Number Pick number 179 on my cheat sheet. Good job. Angel, I guess. All right, so it's my turn now. Um, I have a, more holes to fill out here. Oh, man, this is uh, this is tough. But you know what? I'm going to play it safe, you guys. I'm going to play it real safe. Another homer pick for me. Mm. Luis Arias going to Team Felipe. And... They have him listed as a as a corner infielder. That, that's not where I wanted Urias. So that sucks. Would really would have wanted him to be in my middle infield slot, not my corner infield slot. But uh ESPN is not letting me change it. Like other like other uh like other websites would at this point. Michael Kolpeck going to Carlos Borges. Ricky, why didn't you pick Michael Kopech? Yeah, so Kopech was one of those guys that if I did get it was going to be later on. I wasn't going to reach for him. Um, you know, he's good. Michael Kopech, he's got electric stuff. We just got to see if he's going to be able to stay healthy. That's just been that's been the question with him. If it's not uh, health wise, it's mental wise. So you got two factors that you got to deal with 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 Kopech. So I kind of steer away from him. Um, I do like my White Sox players, but there's just some of them that I'm okay if I don't get, you know. There was a time where I used to be the, uh, you know, push now of, of wanting to get all the White Sox players, but I kind of steered away from that. You remember that. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't I know that. Oh, Melvin, Melvin, uh, he inherited Bushnell's team. In the other league, where, where he got all the White Sox players, he inherited. Oh, okay, the keeper league. Yeah, yeah, the keeper league. Yeah, you remember? Wow. All so yeah, uh, Kopeck was the twenty-first player on the starting pitching list I have going here, and now Craig Kimbrell went. Man, what is your what is everybody's fat infatuation with Craig Kimbrell? I don't get it. I don't see it. He's just going to have the, the closer role at the beginning of the year. So that's why I took him. Not a fan. I just, I would prefer getting a good pitcher at that point. That's just me, though. That's just me. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see, I, I know that everybody makes that pick and I'm just here scratching my head. Why would you get Crimble when there's a good Sir Anthony Dominguez available? But I know that the Phillies have at least four candidates who could take that closers role. Osvaldo Cabrera going to Carlos Borges' team. So now both Peraza and Cabrera are now gone from the Yankees. And now it's my turn. And I honestly don't know which direction I'm going to go here. I feel like I say that every single time and I just kind of settle on something. But Oh, man. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's, you know, plenty of pitchers there. The relief pitchers I can go, but 
since the, you guys took Evan Phillips away from me, I feel like I can just wait now. And I know this guy is currently in the minors, but I'm really thinking of getting him. But let's not be too rash here. Let's we have some time left, so I'm gonna see if there's any other infielders, middle infielders that I, I need to get right this moment. Like I said, I need to plug up that hole because Luis Arias is listed as a as a corner infielder, so I'm kind of stuck with him there. Ooh. Ooh, I see that now. You know what? I'm going to do an audible, you guys. I'm going to do an audible. Might be too soon to get this guy. Again, looking for middle infield help here. But just checking off some T's and crossing out some I's. I know I butchered that. Yeah, there's a... All right, I'm going to go with it. <laughs> I'm going to go with Ezequiel Tovar of the Colorado Rockies. He is uh, supposed oh. to uh, be starting for him. It will be starting for the Rockies. Guy who can do 15 home runs, 15 stolen bases, if not more so. So a very exciting player. I'm excited to have him. I've been This is a guy I've been targeting in a lot of my mock drafts. I get him more often than not. So practicing what I preach here, you guys. So here we go. So that's my pick. Who else is – oh, Angel is up next. Let's see which direction he goes in. The last pick he made was – where the hell – what what where is it? Where's the pick? <coughs> All of a sudden, I can't see the picks. Oh, well. Oh, wait, here we go. Pick history. Duh. Ah, oh, what round are we in? The 20th? 20, so I'm looking for the 19th round. The last pick he made was Adam Duvall, which I don't know if that was – what the hell is that all about, Adam Duvall? Also, I think I'm having a good time in this draft is because I did not sell my spreadsheets this year, so nobody knows what nobody knows what my what my uh, what my cheat sheets look like this season. So, yeah, not so easy now, dude. Not so easy now, guys, huh? Yeah, but you just gotta take good notes on the podcast. So, yeah, who said that? Who Stop. else, bro? Melvin. Oh, <laughs> this now there's a guy who knows exactly how to listen to this podcast, right? You gotta take right, lots Chris of Collinsworth. Notes. There's a guy. Shamanaya. Oh, Angel taking some notes. We just talked about Shamanaya uh in a recent podcast. About how I hit, go ahead. I've officially hit reach mode. Go so ahead. The 20th I'm, gonna round. Start, I'm gonna start it right now. There you go. Who you got for me? Ron C. Ron Contreras. Is... That's not too bad. He'll get innings. Yeah, and I think the Pirates okay. are just going to give him every opportunity to fail. I, I know that he, he's listed as my, what that be, the 41st best starting pitcher available. It is the 20th round, though, so that would be the time to uh, start drafting for upside if you're going to do that at any time. Me? Who said that? Go ahead. I was just going to say since we're in reach mode, and Purely because he had a great WBC, and so this is a reach WBC and a homer pick, <laughs> reach uh, all in one. Yeah, here we go. And I, I'm surprised I'm going to do this, but I, I, I got to go with it. Plus, he's a personal friend, so I got to do this. Uh oh, yo, oh, oh wow, <laughs> wow. What did you call it? A WBC reach mode? WBC well, it, reach. It, 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 I say he was hot in the WBC. It's a reach and a homer pick, so it's all you know. It's all in one on there. It's all inclusive. Got it. Well, after Yom Mankata went to Ricky's team, Oscar Gonzalez went to the auto draft. Miles Mikolas went to Bob's team. Gregory Soto goes to Decker's team, and Seiya Suzuki goes to Austin. Who Seiya Suzuki has been going super late in a lot of my drafts. Like Seiya Suzuki was at the top of my draft board for a very long time. I was thinking of getting him in the next round, but. Uh, I I know that he's hurt. Is that is that all there is to it? It's just that he's hurt, and that's why people are kind of uh, hesitant. Or, or is there something else that I'm missing about Seiya Suzuki that I'm not aware of? And he wasn't he that good last year. I think he it's all the out. all the unfair comparisons to Kosuke Fukudome, honestly. Which oh, okay. uh, Suzuki is it's it's on a tier above Fukudome, but a lot of people have a bad taste in their mouth because of that. I, I don't see why not. I was I would have gotten him in, in, around this area. Mm. Uh, but again, he's also hurt and people don't know how he's going to bounce back. It's an oblique. So yeah. those things are a little. Eh. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That That's a good point. 
That's a good point. It's just, um, I don't know. I, I still like him, but you're right. If you're not seeing him play and you don't know how he's going to bounce back. But one thing for sure is that when he's healthy, he is automatically going to start for that Cubs team, no matter what. So that you got that, he has that going for himself as well. Yeah. He's a lot better than Fukudome. That's not fair. If people are saying that. Well, uh, f- uh, f- uh, Fukudome was, uh, <laughs> uh, he was an on base machine when he was, uh, when he was firing in all cylinders for, for a while there. Uh, Lourdes Gurriel just went to uh, Suplex City, by the way. Lourdes Gurriel. Where is he? Oh, there he is. The 10th best player on my draft board. Now he's gone. The thing about Lourdes Gurriel that I don't like is, again, the Arizona thing. I don't know where he's playing. I don't know how often he's playing. There's a lot of good outfielders out there, young good outfielders, and Gurriel looks like he's the odd man out. And the uh, Kaiba Rees. Wow, Melvin. And uh, Edward Cabrera. Sorry, Austin goes with Kyber Ruiz. Melvin goes Edward Cabrera. That's the pick I was more impressed with. And then Hassung Kim going to Corey Decker's team. Hmm. I wonder how Corey's doing on time. You know, he has a movie to watch. He's going to watch. Uh, what the hell did he say he was going to watch? John Wick 4 in search of more profit. Is that is that what it is? We, I just no. saw. It, it's John Wick 4, but I I just always say that when, you know, in search of more profit, they, they keep making <laughs> these movies over and over again. Yeah, that was a that was a heated discussion in the chat. Uh, well, not heated. It was a, a spirited conversation between the Austin, who was a stuntman, and Corey and myself uh, venting our frustration at the at the movie, at the state of the movie. Of the movie industry, sorry. But yeah, it was John. I just saw John Wick three last night, and my wife and I we turned to each other. It's like, wow, this is not as good as the first two. Very cartoonish. And I tell her, and that's what we talked about. Yeah, when when they start making sequels like action films like this, it does become very cartoonish. So, hey guys, uh, who's that? My time is up. I am going to have to. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to uh, unplug from here. So okay. uh, I shall see y'all later, and uh, y'all enjoy yourselves, and uh, have a have a happy have a happy Saturday, y'all. I'll see y'all later, right? All right, thanks for joining us, Melvin. Really see appreciate you. it, man. Thank you and so much, problem, guys. I'll see y'all later. Yeah, and if and if anybody else has to go, I mean, don't let me stop you. I know it's uh, Saturday night. I know it's late. Draft's going now for about two hours, which uh, that's why I asked about Corey, because I know that he had a movie to watch, and he's like, "Oh, it's only two hours. Oh, I, I should be able to make it." And I don't know if it's cutting back in his time or not. But in the meantime, Alex Lang and Kendall Graveman, those were the best two relievers available on my board. They're gone now. Jack Flaherty. Uh, why do people like Jack Flaherty? Anybody want to chime in on that one? No, but wasn't it like two, three years ago when Henry posted in Baseball Life, should he draft Nola or Flaherty and he went with Flaherty? Ooh. <laughs> yes. And he lost his ass because of it? Yeah, I don't know if he's lost his ass, but you know what I mean. I remember him posting that, and I think most of it was like Nola, and he's like, "No, nah, man, I'm gonna go with Flaherty," and he shouldn't have done that. Yeah, he was really high ah, on Flaherty. Merrill Kelly, Merrill Kelly, that's another failed pitcher for Team USA. I was, I've never been a fan of Merrill Kelly, so I can't wait for him to leave Arizona, give some of those other kids a chance to start over there. Watch he has a Sun Young Award <laughs> year this season. All right. So, uh, yeah, I should probably go with a hitter in this round. Another hitter. Uh, so, yeah, my lineup is pretty much set, but I was forced to draft back-to-back middle infielders. So I kind of want some pop in my lineup, especially at the corner infield position. And I was hoping to get Seiya Suzuki in this round. Because, like I said, I still believe in him, but he's gone now. And the outfielders available are not what I want for my team. Right? It's not it's not looking too good here. So I'm going to go ahead, take a leap of faith. I've been getting this guy, Josh Naylor, in a lot of my mock drafts lately. So he's still fresh on my mind, and I'm going to go with him. Josh Naylor, joining Team Felipe. Yeah, feel free to compliment my picks, you guys. I'm not going to stop you from that. Thank you for the freedom. Mm. <laughs> His nuts are heavy. Who, Josh Naylor? Oh, yeah. I mean, he should yeah. probably get that checked out. 
Elephantitis. Heard it's terrible. Elephantitis. Elephantitis. Christopher Titus? The comedian? No, I'm the only one. Okay. Chris Taylor, Anthony Volpe going back to back. If Anthony Volpe gets called up, that guy's going to be a stud. If Anthony Volpe gets called up, Vince is going to, well, I can't say it on the, on the thing here, <laughs> but he definitely will do something. And it's going to be an explosion, and it's not what the type of explosions that we want to talk about here. It's, it's not. Gonna, it's going to go kaboom. He's going to need like three new pairs of underpants to get cleaned up. Okay, I'll stop. That's how much he loves Anthony Bull. Doesn't he compare him to Jer Derek Jeter sometimes? Yes. I'm like, hey, Vince, I like Anthony Volpe too, but I want to slow down there a little uh, there, buddy. N absolutely not. He's the real deal, you guys. Anthony Volpe is going to win Rookie of the Year and then win MVP in year three. I don't know. I actually don't know if he says that or not. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking for players, and I typed in Anthony Volpe. And I said, no, that's not who I want <laughs> to put on my queue right now, you guys. Uh... So, Jared Walsh. So, with back to back picks, Kevin going with Chris Taylor and Jared Walsh. Why don't you talk a little bit about that there, uh, Kevin Miller? Yeah, honestly, Chris Taylor is just positional versatility. If he doesn't suck and he can be eligible at four positions, it's worth a roster spot to me. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, Jared Walsh, I'm just hoping that they face a lot of right handed pitchers. It's got some pop, so yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I'm not the biggest Jerry Walsh fan, but this late in the draft, you never know, he might come back and do the things that we all fell in love with with him. As for me, I'm gonna take a leap of faith here. My mind is telling me no, but my body's telling me just do it, Felipe. Don't do it, Felipe. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna do it, man. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna do a flip. And I'm going to take a chance on S2, Ooh, S2 Uri Ruiz. Wow. I thought about it. You I know, figured because out. Christian Pache is terrible, so he'll probably take his job. That's what I'm hoping triple, for. But if I'm a triple A affiliate, come on. Double A if they keep if they keep being this bad. <laughs> yeah. No, but S2 they, they already said he's guaranteed a spot on the roster. Yeah, yeah. So when he gets that spot, I want to I want to be all for that. I want to be a part of that. So, Esteori Ruiz, Esteori Ruiz. I, that's going to be a name I'm going to hate pronouncing, but I usually don't chase these guys who have a special, specialized position. And with Ruiz, it would be that his job is to get stolen bases. I usually try to avoid that. I've been burned so many times doing that before. But I feel like having a guy like him is going to pay off dividends this season for obvious reasons. No more shifts, bigger base paths. Uh, they want to encourage more base stealing. So, yeah, I think uh, Ruiz is going to be good this season, and at, at the very least, and the stolen bases department. So, and hopefully the cost stealing goes uh, keeps it to a minimum. And uh, before Ruiz went, Carlos Carrasco went. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already or not, but Carlos Carrasco did go in the previous pick. All right, guys, I've got to get off as well. Yeah, it man. That okay. time. Go ahead. It's 10 o'clock Eastern time. Yeah. Well, Kevin, up, Kevin, thank you so much for joining us this evening. I really yeah. do appreciate it. And good luck this season. All right, man. Hey. I, Feel better. I'll, pro I'll probably need to look. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. Have a good night, bud. Thanks a lot. All right. With that said, uh, Angel goes with Kike Hernandez. And Jose Urquidy goes to Corey Richmond's team. Who I don't know if you guys noticed, but Corey has gone into serious mode. He's, he hasn't been chirping. He hasn't been talking. He hasn't been doing much of anything over there. Here we go. I'm going to go over to the dark side over here to um, see see what happens and see if we can catch some thunder, uh, some lightning in a bottle over here with the Cubs. Uh oh. Oh, you got Jamison Tyone? Okay. That's not bad. I've been uh I've been targeting him too as well around this. Uh, when I was here. What? You should be with us, man. Not nah, joking. Go ahead, just do what you got to do, man. Sorry. Uh, of those 
two stunning pitchers, Jose Urquidy and Jamison Tayon. Obviously, I like Urquidy, but I actually have Tayon ranked number five and Urquidy number six, but I don't know why I have it that way. But I do like Urquidy a little bit more. I just don't – I don't know why it's not reflecting on my cheat sheet for some reason. Jason I, Adams. I mean, I, I would, I would uh, rank Urquidy a little higher just because of the team that he has. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when you've got the offense that you do in Houston, you're going to have more opportunities. For sure, yeah. Yeah, uh, at least Tyon has the guaranteed spot. I know there's the rumblings that Urquidy might not have a guaranteed spot in their rotation or that Astros might go to a six-man rotation, which if they do, that's going to break my heart, but whatever. That's that's modern baseball for you. Jason Adam is a guy I really like coming off the bullpen, and Jerickson Profar, kind of a late arrival to spring training. He just got signed by... Um, he got signed by the Colorado Rockies. <laughs> and he's coming off a really good season. In San Diego. So Ryan McMahon is a guy I've had in my queue for a, a, a long while now. And he just got selected by Bob's team. Gabriel Moreno, that's a good pick by Arizona. And Mitch Hanniger also just left us. So going into the 23rd round, you guys, how y'all feeling right now? Hmm, worn down. Yeah, this is a marathon, right? But only the hardest of hardcore baseball fans can can endure this uh, test of might and endurance, right, you guys? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Something. Yeah, this is my third and final draft. How many drafts do you guys go? So you, Ricky, how many drafts you got left besides this one? Uh, we got one more draft on Monday night. What is that? A uh, uh, keeper? Well, that's or with, um, it's, um, uh, you know, John, Jonathan um, invited me in the last minute for, uh, for, for his draft. So I don't know who's all in there from baseball life, but oh, okay. we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I remember him. I remember him when he wasn't blocking me. Sure. <laughs> yeah, he was going to be a part of this league until he chickened out. Oh, sorry, until things came oh. out. Sorry, I don't mean to disrespect those people who can't talk back to me. I, I do know where he lives, though. Not that I would do anything. I know, that information. I, I know oh, you guys got to be. <laughs> sorry, who said that? Someone said something. I, I couldn't hear. No, I, was no, you say, said, I, I know. Go ahead. No, I was just telling him you said you got some beef. That's oh, <laughs> beef, man. That's what I cook in the kitchen, my bro, my friend. I do yeah. like a good steak. Come That's on, what we, I do with my shared, beef. I, Felipe, we've, we've shared some hot dogs together. Come on, man. You got to be friendly. You know? Whoa. Hey, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm the friendliest guy you're going to you're, you're ever see. If, 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 um, if, he, if he wants to mend fences, I am here for that. If he wants to build bridges, I am here for that. But uh, one thing I'm not going to tolerate is, you know, anyway, that's not, this is not the platform for it. You know, no, he has my you, number. He has my number if he wants to reach out to me. So whatever. I'm pretty we'll sure I'll bump yeah. into him with the if I ever go to a minor league game, I'll probably see him sometime. Uh, bump into him by accident. What, what's he gonna do? There you Block go. me there. So, <laughs> so well, I'm gonna use this pick to grab a guy that was on my team last year. And when my catcher got hurt, he stepped up big time. Um, you know, did decent in the uh in the WBC as well. My guy, Christian Vasquez. Yeah, I I've been eyeing him a little bit. I just don't have the guts to get him because I never know what to expect from him. But that, that's you could do a lot worse at catcher at this point of the draft for sure. And the one thing about Vasquez, he, he'll get you some stolen bases from the catching position, surprisingly enough. So that's always a good thing. It just seems like he always comes up with a big hit. I mean, his, his offensive numbers were bad. And, you know, he, you know, he's not the fastest guy, but he's not, um, you know, He'll get some playing time here and there. Yeah, especially up in Minnesota. I don't think there's much left with the Twins, right? No. Yeah. Jeffers is pretty bad, and that's about it. I do, I do like Jeffers, but uh, yeah, I, um, I'm not gonna wait forever for him to figure things out. Well, that was the thing. He, he was drafted as a bat first. His defense was bad. Now his defense is good, and his bat is trash. Sounds like every catcher known a man, unfortunately. Yeah. 
don't hey if, for those out there don't let you know you ever hear about mamas don't let your kids grow, your boys grow up to be cowboys mamas yeah. don't let your kids grow up to be catchers man that'll be like the one thing you'll regret so anyway oh it's my turn okay so i got some players queued up i just like again i don't know what direction i sound like a damn broken record here uh let's see here i do need some starting pitching i i want to at least have eight or nine starting pitchers on my team but i also want to make sure i have enough depth in terms of my hitting lineup as well so i don't want to ignore that one too much but who's on my queue oh boy do I dare do I dare and risk getting another middle infielder? This is a guy I really, really want. Hmm. But I do like that pitcher that's available. I don't know. What do you think I should do, guys? Well, it's on you, buddy. Yeah, well, it's on you. Oh well, no, no duh. Take the pitcher. Yeah, when in doubt, take a pitcher. So that's what I'm gonna do with 11 seconds left. And I'm going to take the pitcher. Nate Ovaldi is on Team Felipe. Yeah, and, yeah, and I do apologize. I have not been able to shout out the the picks. But uh, it, they're coming in fast and heavy, so it's hard to keep up. Travis Darno just went right now. And since, like, now half the league is gone due to the auto. Uh, and now the auto drafts are taking over. It, it, it's uh, Now they're really coming in fast. But uh, some of the more noteworthy picks that just went – uh, Hayden Wisniewski going to Matthew Nyland. I like that pick. I, we were just talking about him not too long ago uh, on Baseball Life. Andrew Haney might be a thing with the Texas Rangers. Mackenzie Gore is an intriguing pick for Bob's team with the Washington Nationals. Remember, that was a former uh, first-round pick, highly regarded uh, San Diego Padres first-round pick. Spencer Torkelson uh, going to Austin's team. Is this the year, Ricky, that he bounces back from a – I thought it was a awful, just god-awful – rookie year for him last season, but do you think he bounces back in year two? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't catch who you said. Spencer Torkelson. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, out of Detroit, right? I mean, Tigers. He, yeah. He, he, yeah. The Tigers. Um, yeah. He didn't, he didn't have a really good year. I don't know if he bounces back. I mean, he, all indications would be that he was going to be a prime player for, for MLB. So we'll see. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, he, he should be, but we'll see. Yeah, and, and he's playing not, in that South Central, you know. <laughs> if you if you can't do good in the Central, man, you got issues. Yeah, and that's something that we've been talking about a lot uh, lately is just how bad the Tigers have been with developing their players. You know what I mean? Just uh, yeah, the, the, and we're, we're we're not even talking about just whatever bottom of the barrel prospects. We're talking Casey Mize was a number one pick overall. Matt Manning was highly yeah. regarded. Tariq School was highly regarded. Uh, even Isaac Paredes, who failed with the Tigers, he goes down to the Rays, and uh, he's he's set to have a really good year this season, hopefully. I mean, he looked great for Team Mexico in the WBC, for sure. Heimer Candelario was a failed prospect as well. He go, He's now with the Na uh, Nationals. So I don't know what the hell they're doing up there, but we just talked about how the Twins fired their training staff or whatever. Something needs mm -hmm. to happen in, in Detroit as well, because that's inexcusable to have all of these um, – Top highly prospects regarded there. prospects yeah, yeah yeah and not a single one pans out so anyway it's my turn again and i am nowhere near uh clear as to what i want to do here you know what i am just gonna take my relief picture right now and just kind of uh i'm gonna uh just reset my my, my buttons a little bit i'm gonna go with taylor rogers with the san francisco giants okay. old, old favorite of mine so i'm gonna Go with him one more time. And again, if he doesn't get the saves, he'll definitely get the holds. And he's just a, I don't know, and, and he's playing in, in, in San Francisco too. So it's a lot to like about him this year. So I'm going to go with that. Who else is left here? Ah, Angel is next. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ricky, humor me for a little bit. Uh, the last uh, one, two, three, four, five, like six or seven picks. Who was your favorite guy who was who just went off at the board right now? Um, let me see. Um, I mean, you know, if all these a veteran that you know that had some success in Boston, you know, going and I, you know, I like him in that part. Texas went yeah. from the hitters' park to a pitchers' park. Yeah. Um, it, it seems like you know they're spending a lot of money. Um, 
uh, it's not translating to wins. But uh, <laughs> if you're gonna if you're gonna have somebody solid out of those picks, I mean, I, I like the Evaldi pick there. Yeah, that, and, that was my. Well, that's what's my going pick. on with? Yeah, Jared Kalenic has been a disappointment um, in Seattle, and, and and I would think that that could be a value pick if he somehow can turn it around. Um, that guy's yeah. got, you know, he had a great upside mm -hmm. um, in, in Seattle, but all of a sudden, you know, he he had a terrible year, and I mean, he's not projected to have a great year this year either. But we'll see, mm. you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh, Brendan Donovan just went. Uh, but yeah, I agree with you on Kalenic. It's um, sometimes these prospects that just they don't, I mean, it's like the thing we just talked about, the Tigers, you know, they just don't pan out sometimes for whatever reason. And But luckily for, for Seattle, they do have a deep farm system. So if Kalenic fails, it's no problem for them. If Kyle Lewis fails, they'll just trade him to Arizona, and they still have a pretty darn good uh, starting outfield over there, especially yeah. centering around Julio Rodriguez, my, my first pick overall here. Uh, it's Ricky's turn. He has a minute and 15 seconds left. But in the meantime... Uh. It's a homer pick, but go ahead. <laughs> well, I was going to say the last three picks uh, were uh, after Taylor Rogers was Brendan Donovan, Carrick Whitlock, Nick Gordon, uh, Mike Vell Mike Clevenger, who I did pick in the baseball life league, so uh, I can't uh, I can't poo poo it too much. Uh, yeah, this is around the time that he went too. By the way, he went this late in, the, in that draft as well. So, so it's uh, pretty pretty uh, funny to see the similarities there. Uh, so what did I say? So Taylor Rogers, Brendan Donovan, Garrett Whitlock, who I really like for Boston this year. Uh, Colton Wong, Nick Gordon, Mike Clevenger, Daniel Hudson, Charlie Blackman, and Adam Frazier just went off the mm. board here. And again, they're coming in hot and heavy because there's more teams on the auto draft, which pay league. I don't know, man. It's a pay league. Thought things were gonna be different when, when money's involved, but I guess it's not. There's still just as many. There's actually more teams now this late in the draft. Even if it's late this late in the draft, there's a lot more teams on the auto draft than I expected. Yeah. But uh, but no, how I, many I, people I mean, still? How many? How many people keep their? How many people keep their entire team built from the draft? I mean, no, part that's of, true. Part of fantasy is is picking up waiver wires, making those trades. So I think the people that you want, you know, you want the first 10, 12th round are the important ones after that. You kind of mess it around and playing anyway and see what happens. No, but I mean, that is a hundred percent correct. That is a hundred percent correct. But you, you know, especially in a pay league, the, the, the argument for pay leagues is that people are taking it more seriously and that, you know, well, if I'm paying this money, I want to be sure that I get all my picks in the way I want to pick them. So that's the sure. argument. And, and, and that's, that seems to be the case here. I, I know that, lives get in the way i know my wife is impatiently yeah. waiting for me to tag me in so i can watch the baby but but she knows that march is a heavy uh is a busy time of year for me because who needs a wife come on <laughs> you're off the phone now or you're still on the no i'm finally off <sighs> all right it's my yeah. heterosexual life partner you know oh uh jason, jason brooks yes oh i was joking was it really jason yeah we're going we're this is, this is great for the uh, the podcast listeners, but uh, we're going to uh, Vegas for uh, AW Double or Nothing. Oh, nice. And he was trying to book his flight, <laughs> the whole thing with, you know, trying not to have to take an extra six. It was a whole thing. So. Gotcha. <laughs> I oh, learned a lot right. more about Spirit Airlines than I ever wanted to. They're not bad. They, I, I was just on Spirit Airlines, and they're actually not that bad. Yeah, but before you were on there, you didn't have a twitch. Right. <laughs> but um <laughs> an account twitch or <laughs> yeah, I was gonna are you talking about an account an account with Twitch or no. uh, yeah. <laughs> but no, I was there and I'm like, am I in Spirit Airlines or am I in Southwest Airlines? Like they, they, they got some snarky flight attendants, and I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. I really am. I, I like that. And I actually got sick. Uh, well, I was actually getting air sick while I was up there. I, all of a sudden, I just felt like vomiting all over the place. And I woke up and, and I, I pressed the button for the flight attendant. And she asked, well, do you feel like you're throwing up or do you feel like going to the bathroom? And I go, I, I need to go to the bathroom right now. Okay, okay. Just... At the same time. Long story short, she gave me a free ginger ale for my troubles. So that, oh, that was sweet. Well, they could have charged me for it. You know, it's Spirit Airlines. They could have charged me for that, but they didn't. Sure. So, 
the same. I'm pretty sure you most likely could have got a lap dance as well. <laughs> uh, the way I was feeling that night, no, I would have uh, politely rejected it. Sorry. Uh, there you go. No. I, uh, so, so how bad has my team turned out to be as we uh, try <laughs> to go and do? <laughs> I don't know, man. I've been uh, I've been flying solo. No, not solo. Sorry, I've been. Filling out the dead spaces and, and, and keeping track of all the picks about on my own why, here. I mean, why do we have three relievers? That's just that's just brutal. <laughs> let me uh let me draft the rookie of the year here. here we uh oh go. <laughs> damn man, I just had him queued up. Jordan Walker get taken a second time. <laughs> well, they got two rookies of the years and one in the national league and one in the American nice. League. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Nice attempt at the joke, though. A for effort. Uh, Ricky, why do you think Oscar Colas does not get a lot of um, national nor notoriety? I don't think people have seen them, you know, other than, than, the, than the White Sox uh, fan base, the farm system. Was yeah. he playing in um, Mexico when we missed him? Or uh... Uh, He's Cuban. No. Right? He's a Cuban. He's another Cuban. <laughs> yeah. He's got a, a lefty bat that we need. He's got power. Uh, he's got a he's got a decent arm, so I'm not sure about his speed, but he's a he's a good four two player. So we'll see. Yeah. Um, we'll, you know, we'll see what happens if he's given the, the opportunity. I think he'll he'll make the you know he he made the team right. I think he. Oh, I don't know. He's I breaking mean, cap. I they could I use a guy like him for sure. How did they wind up with three third basemen? How did that happen? You weren't paying attention, bro. You were booking flights to Las Vegas, apparently. Yeah, in the Dominican Republic and everywhere. Oh else. my God! Hold on. Nyland just picked Ross Stripling right after I put him on my queue. I you blame for about blame Ricky. Rounds. He took Cole Ross right after I put him on my queue. There you go. <laughs> hey, I'm just waiting. That's, I'm just here waiting. Just gonna pick this guy and then boom, he's gone. This whole time, I thought that I had the inside track, the insider information on Ross Stripling, and I have been unsuccessful in getting him in any of my leagues. All right. I'm picking one of your guys, which I'm sure you don't, you, you want nowhere near your team in real life and in fantasy. Joey Gallo is the newest member. Oh my team. God. <laughs> Congratulations. You just struck out 220 times. Yeah. We, we're keeping track of strikeouts. He gets the guy who's going to lead the league in strikeouts. Good job there. Who is that? A pick a fourth, third baseman. I, I thought I'd go with the guy who qualifies at third and uh, third in line. I mean, Joey first, Gallo was the 47th the best player on my draft board. Draft board. Oh, and you know, a bonus for me that I realized because Colas has been uh, primarily playing right field, but he has center field status, which is uh, a plus. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, the okay. center field is not as strong as people think it is. Plenty of corner outfielders, but center field, that's a, that's a pain to, uh, to look for, for sure. Oh, shoot, I didn't get Tolerson. Damn it. I didn't make you for like 12 rounds, and I never picked him. No, we weren't talking <laughs> about Torkelson, so uh, you missed that conversation. Okay. Yeah. Like he, what's his face? Uh, Corey Richmond's like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. Oh, no. I wanted to uh, – he's never going to hear this, so uh, I wanted to get off that phone about 45 – jeez, how long was I on the phone with him? I'm just... I don't know. I look up, and, and I'm like, hey, Corey, I need help, and you're, you, you, I'm you're just on going, the phone. I'm just going, phone. Well, we're waiting for Angel to make a pick here. Man, I can't believe Ross Stripling. I cannot believe I was not able to get Ross Stripling in any of my leagues. I'm very disappointed in myself. I don't know what I could have done differently. Take him like three rounds earlier. I guess so. Yeah, I didn't learn my lesson the first couple of times. Brad Boxberger just went to uh, Angel's team. He's still in the league? Yep. Uh, the Cubs, apparently. I thought he was still with Milwaukee, but I guess not. Yeah, the Cubs. He might actually close. Yeah, that's that's scary. Uh, so yeah, but he was my 56 best relief pitcher on my current board, so I did not want a part of him. Uh, uh, now's a chance to just have some fun here. I'm gonna go with Von Grisham. I know he's in the minors, but once well, he gets did called he up, how did he huh? not win? The well, how, how did what's he the... like? Come on. Why did he get sent down? Why didn't he win that job? I mean, that competition. Oh, I'm about to find out. I'm I'm. I'm scratching my head, but hey, it's my benefit. You know, I, I drafted him in the Mardi Gras league. And if Grayson Rodriguez gets called up right away, then I could put Vaughn Grisham on my uh, minor league slot. 
But Vaughn Grisham lost out to Ozzy Alves for obvious reason. Orlando Arcia, the former, I think that's the former Brewers, uh, former highly regarded prospect up there. He was supposed to be the next big thing. And then they needed to make room for Ajere Adrianza. And Sam Hillard and Kevin Pillar. Okay. But I, I don't I honestly I don't know what, what uh Grissom did in the minors or in spring training, I should say. I have no idea. I just know that I like what I saw last year. And you are on the club. Yeah, thanks for that. But uh anyway, I like him. So I know that he's gonna start on the minors, so that's gonna be one of those uh those seeds I plant, and hopefully it pays off big time when he gets called up. In the meantime, Syndergaard just went. As you guys may or may not know, Noah Syndergaard was a point of contention in the Mardi Gras League as two uh, two people in that league basically went head-to-head, toe-to-toe, blow-for-blow. One guy was dissing the pick. Another guy was defending his pick. Talk amongst yourself about Noah Syndergaard while I try to figure out what pick I should make here. Uh, so in about five years ago, Noah Syndergaard was a great prospect. Now, mm-hmm. he's barely breathing. Does he still have long hair? Oh, good question. Does I haven't seen him? Does he? he cut his hair last year? Maybe I'm wrong, but. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I need more center fielders, so I'm gonna go with Harrison Bader again. Another long-term play by Team Felipe here. Yeah, I is that dark? Dark brother? I'm sorry. What? Was that is that Darth's brother? Darth Bader's. <laughs> I, was thinking of Ryan, I was thinking of Ryan Bader, the, the uh, ex USC fighter, but oh yeah, Ryan Bader, I remember him. Um, no, but uh, put it this way, he's on the right team if he's going to be known as uh, Darth Bader, because you know, because the Yankees are the evil empire. That's true. Yeah. All right. Well, all jokes aside, uh, so I got Harrison Bader, Bailey Obert, Mike Dostremski. Let's take it back a little bit. Um, with three outfielders went recently: Bader, McCutcheon, Jock Peterson. Uh, who was the best of that? Who's the best of that trio there? Mike Dostremski. You want to include Dostremski as well? Okay. Because I picked him. Oh well. Besides your pick, Brett, Brett Beatty. Brett no, besides I said outfield, not not. Who was the best outfielder? Hasn't he? Isn't Brett Beatty been like playing in the outfield of spring training to try to make? Uh, he's only listed as a third baseman in this league, so that's okay. um, that's what I'm going with at this point. Uh, fuck it. So the answer was Harrison Bader, apparently. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, this, this, I'm just gonna say this, and I'm I'm sure nobody will agree with me, but this draft is a little too many players. <laughs> only the hey, listen, man. You guys wanted to be in the hardcore draft with Felipe. This is the price. You guys have been waiting for a while. You guys have been waiting for a while to be in this league. You think I'm just joking around and making it easy to you for you guys? Absolutely not. Wait, there was a waiting list for this league? I just asked if I could come in. You're like, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> You've been on the waiting list for like three years now. Have I known you for three years? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Why not? Like I mentioned, this is a. Uh, Felipe, when do you have an open? Who's the top guy on your list right now, Felipe? I can't say that. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, so, you know what? Since we have nothing else to talk about, I'm just gonna. And everybody's on autopilot at this point. Uh, right now, starting pitcher is Lance McCullers. Wait, Relief pitcher oh, is. Oh, oh, Ka- Lance huh? He's gone already. Didn't he leave? Somebody oh, got him I'm, already. No. Oh, I then I missed it. Colors like seven rounds ago. I missed yeah. it then. Never mind. That's why I mentioned it. I, uh, Kyle Finnegan, my best relief pitcher, and Brendan Rodgers, my best uh, batter, position player. Eight, seven, six. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just do this for the fun of it. <laughs> Joey, remember when Joey Votto was a good baseball player? <laughs> <laughs> he was once upon a time. He was a top, he was like a top, th- uh, top, uh, top like three round pick at one point. Yep. Angel saying that we have more players than an MLB roster. Is that is that really true? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, do they play fantasy baseball? No. So okay then. <laughs> and Vince and Vince Coleman didn't play cards in the. Yeah. 
two and a half hours in, you guys, and this this is a lot longer than I expected. The Mardi Gras League went by. Fa- oh, well, the Mardi Gras League is a shorter league as well. So maybe I should have just turned things off a long time ago, but that's no fun. Yeah, but, I would have thought maybe you would have lowered like 45 seconds or something after like the 10th round. You know, oh, you, you know, I should have done that. And I, I, I've been so like not paying attention to that. Oops. Oops. Wait, Next time. <laughs> wait, I, how do I even do that? It's, it's, I don't see any option for me to do that though here. I think there's an option. Um, I think you could preset it up on your draft modes. Like you could say how much time you want. And then after oh, a certain it. time, you I, can I gotta do lower it, it down. Yeah, this is where I wish Austin was here so he could do that for me. But uh, poor Austin, we lost him along the way. Poor Austin, we lost him. Well, my battery's down to five percent, so if I fall off, um, you know why. <laughs> oh, you, you forgot your charger. Well, you know, two and a half hours. I was I started at forty percent. I thought it was going to be enough, but I guess <laughs> with. You did wrong. Well, we're in, we're we're going into our last pick. Don't worry, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging in there. If you're in, still listening after two and a half hours. You're sitting there going, "Oh my god, what are these guys doing?" These guys are losers. Now you know what the best part is. You, you guys who are still with me, uh, this this event, this night, is here for all eternity. There you go. Uh, so you're gonna have I'm like. Gonna like uh, are you going to have like another uh, draft night type of judgment to see how people's picks were and, and kind of rank the no man nice this is drafts? it this is it man this is it I I might I might do a quick you know so start let's start looking at the teams start giving a ranking off of what you see <laughs> I might I might get, I I I'm, I did this in the baseball I think I'm going to get report cards tomorrow with Sean when there you I get go. back. I'm going to get report cards for the baseball life league since we didn't do a live draft because that's a slow draft. But um, for you guys, I will, I can quickly just do the same thing and just give you guys grades as well. So is this a stand, like just brought up projection, projection ratings possibly here? Uh, no, I'm not doing all that work. I'm just going by feel and gut and uh, who, which picks I hate and which picks I don't like and whatever, whatever. So that's what I'm going to do uh, for you guys for, this league. Well, you're picked fourth. Based on projections, you're fourth. Wait, what? What are you asking me? I'm saying based on projections, you're fourth. My fourth? You're picked to finish fourth. My where, are you, is, oh. where are you seeing that at? On my screen. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know we I, I did not know that was a thing on ESPN. The standing, so I guess that's what it's. Oh, okay. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> oh, Auto draft McGee over there. Uh, Austin's supposedly going to finish first, so that means he's going to, you know. I will give him credit. Usually, I, 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 that's a point of contention there, but I will give him credit. He did go all out to try to have all those picks. He, he ranked about 350 players for this draft on ESPN's wow. website, so he put in the work. So. Um, nothing bad could happen, and it looks like the uh, the work is paying off if if the projections are correct. Which, if that's the case, I'm never going to hear the end of it. Nyland, unfortunately, uh, dead last right now, which means he's going to actually win the whole type thing. Well, uh, he was dead <laughs> last last year too, I think. It, it's going to be worse with this last pick. I'm going to drop off the map. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, so I'm finishing fourth. Let, oh, let's look at the standings really quick then. Uh, Austin in first, South Crack, South Crack, that's his name. Kevin Miller's team's going second. Angel finishing in third. Oh, okay. I, I've not liked any of his picks so far, but okay. Razor Ramones, that's me. I'm going fourth. Bob is going fifth. Ricky going sixth. Uh, Corey Richmond going seventh. AJ going, I'm sorry. AJ going seventh. Corey Richmond going eighth. Decker going ninth. Melvin going 10th. Carlos Borges, who finished with the best record last year, he's going at 11th. And Nyland going 12th overall. So we shall see if that comes to fruition. Interesting. I did not know that ESPN does that. That's pretty cool. 
Mm-hmm. All right, you guys pick a position. Uh, shortstop. All right, so I'm at it. Which one of these bums am I going to take? Let's see. Bums. All right, pick a different position. Okay, <laughs> okay uh, third, <laughs> third base then. I don't you know. only got four of those. <laughs> All right. I'll take another relief pitcher to end my draft here. There you go. Who is it? Yimmy Garcia. Yimmy Garcia. Okay. Andy Rodriguez. Wow. That's a, I, I like that. I like that a lot. Good job there, Nyland. He's Andy right. Rodriguez. Go ahead. He's ranked like 900th, but whatever. That, that, who, who ranks him 900? Not me. ESP, ESP and the people that I hate to listen to. Andy Rodriguez was the 25th best player on the board here on, on my sheets. So that that and this this in the draft for a catcher, that's a win. I think it's a win. Well, who's your starting uh, catcher right now? Uh Virgil. Oh, come on. You're gonna finish 12th? What? What's going on here? I don't know. I felt pretty good about my draft. <clears throat> yeah. Minus a couple of them late mid on picks, but I felt better than I did last year with Javi Lopez, or yeah, Javi Lopez, Javi Baez, and Chris Bryant, and Rocket Bueller. It really can't get much worse than last year. <laughs> Unless Javi Lopez comes back and starts playing. <laughs> That's funny, Javi Lopez. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm tired. The, the Braves, you we were thinking about the Braves. Well, we are yeah. in, we're going to make our four last picks. So once again, if I haven't said it enough, I'll say it again. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Thank you, gentlemen, for being with me this evening live on the Baseball Life Baseball uh, the Baseball Life Facebook group, um, and for record or helping me record this episode of the podcast. I don't know; these are kind of uh, iffy to do, but I have a lot of fun doing them, and I like the idea of I'm just recording them. Go I'm ahead. Just speak with Felipe for a moment. Uh, if ESPN wants, even if you like or don't like ESPN, if ESPN wants to pay him to do his podcast, he will love ESPN. <laughs> yeah. What? That's right. You will sell your soul to the man. I would. <laughs> I'll say it right no. now. If the WWE you... wants to uh, listen to uh, sponsor my, my silly podcast, I will shill for them as much as they like. I have ethics went out the window. I'm poor. <laughs> I don't know. Well, first of all, ESPN is like talking about downsizing again. So, in the WWE, you want to work for that crazy lunatic man? No, I don't think so. All right. Well, that is it. Thank you guys so much. Uh, really quick, the last few picks were Andy Rodriguez, Adam Wainwright, Lane Thomas, Justin Steele goes to my team. Homer pick there. I don't care. David Peterson and Eric Lauer for the Milwaukee Brewers is Mr. Irrelevant. I am Felipe. Ricky, any last words from you, really quick? Uh, it's just going to be a fun year, guys. Let's keep the chats going, um, you know, respecting everyone, having fun, but let's make it a memorable year. And uh, let's, not, let's not let Felipe win again. Thank you. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, Nyland, <laughs> any last words from you? Thank you so much, uh, Ricky, for showing. But Nyland, any last words from you? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, support, speak up, and acknowledge the last indigenous out there. Awesome. Awesome. Let us know more on the uh, on the proper groups, and we'll yeah, do what not, we can. we'll do I what we can got, to support. Go ahead. I got I finally got the sweater in today, so it's a nice looking sweater, by the way. It's really nice, considering it's supposed to be a t shirt, and they sent me a sweater. So hey, for Minnesota, you need that, all right? <laughs> yeah, I, I know all, all year. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for showing up tonight, and the Corey Richmond. Last words from you. Just want to say, everybody, if they have a moment, check out. Let's talk about AEW, a.k.a. let's talk about everything wrestling. We're just starting a new podcast, the Sports Witness Podcast, talking a couple days a week about all the biggest things in sports. Of course, the Passion Project, You Don't Know Jackie TV Podcast, where we talk about your favorite shows. Starting this week, we'll be back for season two of Yellow Jackets and Single Drunk Female. So please check it out and leave us a review. But always check out the uh, Total Basis podcast whenever you get whenever you want to listen to a podcast. Yeah, and, t- and apparently take notes. All right, gentlemen. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you out there for listening. I am Felipe, your host. We will see you next time. Take care, everybody. <laughs>